So obviously I'm in a slightly different spot in my main room, so we'll get going here in a few minutes, kind of officially, sorry. Also my arm's a little sore because I got some more tattoo work, so I have to be careful. Otherwise it's going to drive me freaking nuts. Kind of like a steering wheel in my pants. It's going to drive me nuts. Yeah. Yeah. Anywho, got to get a random number generator up. What is up, Skin Ken? Dan, how you doing? KP, been waiting all week. There you go. Alright, so what we need to do is go back to the studio. Get on it. Almost everybody that entered for the uh, safe did what I told them to. So we'll see what happens here, right? So... Uh, sudden, what's up? Can you see the tattoo? So we just did more finishing work. So you can see it's getting darker. Um, this side was just line work before, so we filled that in, added some stuff up here, uh, redid this one. If you go back to some of the older videos, you'd see that half of this thing had rubbed off. So now we did that, and then I got uh, a date put on my arm. So there you go. That's just the work we did today because this one isn't healed yet, so we can't start doing any of the shading work. Not yet, anyways. Hey, Raina, how's it going? Nero, what's up? Uh, you missed, like, every stream this week. That's all right. You have a tattoo of a potato on your head. Interesting. Forgive me. Uh, I ate some food before I did a live stream, and my stomach really hurt, so sorry. Uh, but anyways, I have to go up here. Minimum... Only 160 of them are actually publicly. <laughs> Heal. Ink is like water. Hmm. Bombastic. Thank you. Once you get one. Oh, it's addicting. It's like ner super soakers and nerf guns. Got it. Uh, you got a f tattoo of your first deer on your back. That's cool. Still need some shading. No, that's awesome, dude. Spot, what's up? Since last you saw me, you've gained and lost a girlfriend. The madness that is your life continues. Hope you are well. I'm doing all right. Thank you for asking. Uh, like I said, my stomach hurts right now because I ate a big dinner and I shouldn't have done eating that fast. AG, how you doing today? All you new people, what's up? Uh, I do apologize to everybody that got a scam. Uh, as somebody had tried attempting to scam you guys either with telegram or an email I either YouTube's algorithm caught it or somebody reported it because the um, the, the link was already gone every all the comments were gone by the time I logged on so uh, oh good news gotcha uh, your first deer is on your wall don't really need a tattoo for that you should put a tattoo on the deer uh, you also reported gotcha Hope everyone's having a great night. Yep, absolutely. It would have hurt too much. What, to put a tattoo on the deer? You buy another race car whenever you run into a midlife crisis. That's funny. Mitchell P. Martinez Publishing. Oh, look at you. Hey, this is not yours. This is mine. So, hi and bye. So, if you caught that and you want to go to some dude's SoundCloud... What a place to advertise that shit. Uh, nice AUG. It's not mine, but I think my buddy's going to buy it. I just borrowed it for a quick video. Um, with the healing process and stuff, I haven't really been borrowing too many. Uh, too many guns. So I'll borrow more as we go along. What's my opinion on Cyberpunk? I like Cyberpunk. It's a good game. It's a little bit grindy. And then once you get through it all, it gets really boring really fast. But overall, the experience is good. I haven't played the... Um, DLC yet just I've not played cyberpunk since I beat it the first time and uh, yeah uh, You were wondering why you haven't showed it before that showed what skin Showed what I Think the aug is the most popular bullpup um, It's the most well known for sure, but I do know for a fact that the hell hellion um, is probably a little bit more reliable 
uh, the AUG because it's not mine skin. Uh, I borrowed that from work just to do a quick video on it. I was going to do a full, you know, video video on it, but I ran out of time. Wasn't feeling great. Have I tried the Cyberpunk show on Netflix? No, I have not. Uh, it looks to be an interesting show, but I already know how it ends, so I have no real desire to watch it. Oh, I got to lean back a little bit. Uh, you kids got you in a Minecraft over the last year. Minecraft is actually really fun. I haven't played it in a long time. Um, yeah, it's an animated series. Hey, Snafu, what's going on? Sorry, I'm looking at all the comments. I have to get down to the 104th sub. Uh, hey there, feel better? Yeah, thanks. Uh, I'm glad you feel better. Uh, Hellion is a good gun, just not your preferred platform. No wrong with that. Uh, you guys, he did he know what he do this time? Uh, I think that both the Halo series as well as the Twisted Metal ones are garbage. Well, I've never watched either one of those, to be honest with you. Tip your drink, Bo. We have a red, ready, red, 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 ready drink. I'll take a little sip. My stomach hurts a lot, but I will take a little sip for you, Reyna. Oh, P. Diddy got caught again. P. Diddy is a penis. Nice. Uh, okay, so it can't be out of 104 because only 82 of you have your freaking things actually public. All right. Uh, multiple houses of daddy rated for trafficking. Yeah, he's a little bit crazy. Where's the sights? Again, I borrowed that gun, so I didn't have a reason to throw an optic on it. If I was going to keep it and shoot it, I'd have put an optic on it. But I think my buddy's going to buy it because it was an extremely reasonable price. Uh, what's a controversial take from me? Um, I don't really have one, man. Um, I think there's a lot of YouTubers that shouldn't have YouTube channels because they're overrated and they're suck-ups and they lie about their reviews. But thats I don't think that's controversy. I think everybody believes that. Uh, do, 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 do. Almost the best news of the day. Yeah, nice. Well, you know, couldn't have happened to a stupider man. Probably also got uh, his buddy killed. Um, Forty two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five. One second, guys. I'm I'm actually pulling a winner and I'm gonna announce it here in a little bit. Unfortunately. Some of you will be a little bit sad. Sorry. We'll have to wait and see if people are in here. So, yeah. Out of the 190 people that subscribed, uh, only about 75% of them actually had public subscriptions. So 
Good job not reading the rules, people. Uh, let's see. Preston is one. Who's Preston? Hey, what's up, Brady? Uh, sorry, I cannot tech much in chat. You're working. That's okay, Elf. Uh, here's a fun one. National Guard Service announced uh, should be mandatory at 16. At 16. Yeah, and then we'll become like the French Foreign Legion. Where's the sloths? Right there, in the computer. Uh, Glocker Sigs. Sigs all day long. Uh, let's see. Went to the pawn shop today and the workers were on phones yelling about baby daddy's child support. That's just wrong. Yeah, I agree. That's a little bit trashy. Um, why am I leaning in so hard? I can just, duh. I'm a dumbass. Sorry. Do -do -do -do. Come back. Come back. I just closed out the whole thing, really? That's not what I clicked on. Look at that. Yeah, my stomach hurts so bad, I'm just clicking random shit now. Hold on, I'm coming back. Like the stream, or you'll come into their house and take things that make your day inconvenience. I'm going to put your car keys in the first place you were going to look, not the last place, and then you're never going to look. Sorry, I guess I should be on camera, shouldn't I? Uh, come on, man. Just got sub. Well, unfortunately, it ended on Sunday. Uh, it would be funny as hell if you just talked in a Russian accent the whole time and just confused the new people. That would be funny. Uh -huh. It was murder, Sam. Who's Sam? What's up, Noel? So, anyways, like I said, sorry, my stomach really hurts. I'm trying not to throw up right now. So, if I'm a little bit off, that's why. Also, you know, things. You had surgery on your ACL on Saturday. How's it doing, man? Only like seven likes. I wouldn't give it out. Uh, number one, there's ten. And number two, uh, I already picked the winner, and it's from earlier in the week. But you're a funny boy, Glock. You're a funny, funny boy. Uh, wouldn't let me like the... The video. Oh, sorry to hear that, sir. I hope your day gets better. Uh, you don't know about the French Foreign Legion, but it wouldn't be it would be wouldn't be mandatory military, but more mandatory community service with guns. Yeah, that's what I love. Give a bunch of people guns and make them do something they don't want to do. That always ends well. I believe uh, the last people that kind of really pushed that was um, the Nazis. Uh, what's up, DB? How you doing? What's going on? Mr. 45, what's going on? You're hammered, DB? Oh, you don't want to get robbed, but did you? Uh, you're not... It's... Don't worry, Coonskin. You're not going to get robbed. <sighs> Pookie Doodle. Well, update. You lost your safe. We moved over the last couple of days and we were unable to get the safe out of the basement. That sucks, Pook. Uh, not bad. You're icing it and taking off work, which is kind of nice. Yeah, you'll get bored pretty quickly. Look, I'm not saying it's not controversial. It's a hot take. Yeah, it is. And you're absolutely welcome to your opinion. 100%, dude. I would never stop you from having an opinion. Do, do, do. Uh, you're getting robbed every payday. Ah, joke's on you. I don't pay taxes. Uh, you got an IWI Zion 15. That's a good rifle. Absolutely. Uh, taxation is theft. Yep, that's why we had a party in Boston. Uh, Jordan, what's up? Not much, man. Uh, Thomas, greetings. May I ask for a full tour of my collection? No, nope. can't hold guns on YouTube and I don't show my collection. My collection, my private collection, is not for show. I'm not one of those people that wants to show an entire collection of guns. Plus, you don't have the time for it. Uh, do, 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 do. Good to see you out of bed, man. Feeling better? I'm just sitting in a chair. My back is so screwed from sitting in bed. Uh, my leg is still elevated and still in a cast, unfortunately. Uh, how thrilled would Abbott be right now if we had a bunch of 16-year-olds at the border right now? Uh, if you had enough 16-year-olds with guns, we wouldn't have an immigration problem because they'd all be dead. It'd be a murder problem. 
you can't hold one on YouTube. No, not on a YouTube live, uh, KP. Um, back in 2018, a guy decided to delete himself with a shotgun on a live and uh, the live stream ran for like 40 minutes with his dead body on screen until the police showed up and ended the stream. Uh, we call them Hot Wheels here in Texas. Eh, you know what? State supersedes federal, so if the uh, leader of your state wants... Meh, it was 2018. Yeah, well, because ants, you know what I mean, DB. But yeah, if the states want to institute a policy, I think that they should be able to run their states the way they want, as long as they're not, you know, seceding from the union. You know? You can still be America. Wasn't that Facebook Live? No, it's happened on Facebook Live, too. The most recent one was on Facebook Live where a dude killed his girlfriend. So Facebook Live has had more self-deletions than um, probably any platform I can think of on a mainstream social. Uh, what did I miss? What happened to you for a cast being needed? I've been in, in and out of cast for 10 years, brother. I have just leg issues and nervous system issues and things like that. I get hurt really easy. I don't heal really fast. So unfortunately, uh, when I get damage i tend to uh take me a long time to heal uh when will winter, winter be announced in about 45 minutes i want to make sure people have a chance to get in here uh i said i'd do it at eight o'clock eastern time which is uh 44 minutes 42 minutes from now it'll also be in a community post um i have the name already up here on my computer so um preemptive congratulations to the winner but i'm not telling anybody because i want you guys to stay and listen it might be one of you, it might not. Also, this time, if nobody freaking claims it, I'm just going to freaking get it and have it sent to my house, and I'm going to give it away on my own at the uh, at the full auto shoot. Uh, I remember another Facebook Live one you saw. Yeah, same with the Inquisitor. Saw that one, unfortunately. Yep. DB is, oh, you definitely would not show mine on anything. I don't even let the camera point in their direction. No, you've never, you've seen my gun lockers that these companies have sent me, but you've never seen my gun safes. Um, you get to go hunting in the next upcoming weeks. Awesome, Andrew. Uh, keep the content coming. I'm trying, Thomas. Um, range video is going live tomorrow. I'm going to edit another range video. And then one thing I'm going to do, because with the bed rest, I haven't had time really to do anything. And I haven't had a lot of motivation to make new content. I'm going to go through my old videos that have like no views on them. And I'm going to rework them. I'm going to put extra commentary. I might even do it like my own version. Excuse me, of like a react to them. Some of my older range videos since people wanted range videos. Because I got some videos on the channel that have like 12 views for range videos. Woohoo, it's not one of us. You don't know. Am I Mr. Glass? No, I wish I was Mr. Glass. At least then I'd uh, be, have a really cool name. Uh, half of mine don't exist. Half of mine are on a boat somewhere. Uh, well, well, your knee is screwed up. Uh, if your knee isn't screwed up. Yeah, hopefully you get to go hunting, dude. That would be nice if you got to go hunting. Um, so, yeah. Although I did order um, pretty interesting... If any of you work at a gun store, tell your bosses um, there's one distributor, and you'll have to find it, who's doing an insane deal on a certain SIG right now. It's $800 off a of normal cost. So, yeah. Speaking of uh, which, blah, 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 rampant on Twitter. He saw one when I was a kid. Uh, yep. Yeah, no, I've seen that video, Nero. It's on Twitter. It's on Reddit. Unfortunately, it's on the Internet. It's going to stay on there forever. Uh, get a puppet and do a Mystery Science Theater 3000 style documentary on those old vids. Uh, no, I'm gonna, just going to do a little bit of uh, interjecting. Um, just because... Fuck you, DB. 300 too much. Trust me, if you saw which one it was, you'd like it. Alright, I'll just tell you. They're doing... Yeah, I'm not telling you which distributor, but uh, normal cost for the SIG 210 carry is $17.99. Uh, one distributor is selling them for 1000 bucks. Can't believe you donated your QP to SpaceX launches. That's <laughs> just a weird thing to say. Uh, it's just you reading Mary Shelley, Frankenstein shooting guns. Uh, Dale Rossetti, what is going on? According to your children that have not been coached, they were all lost in a river when we flipped our boat, if the ATF asks. <laughs> Sig schmig. Hey, did you get the uh, pictures I texted you of the uh, Les Bears, DB? I sent you two, three pictures. Uh, they were Ed. They were Les Bears, not Ed Browns. Uh, one was the 
um, yeah, the Monolith, the Professional, and then the National Match. Although I think my buddy's buying the Professional. The Monolith is sexy as hell. I like the Monolith. Not Monolith. 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 But yeah. Uh, also, um, going forward, I think Wednesdays, um, I ordered a new webcam. That's the biggest thing I've been waiting for. I stole my dad's webcam, so I had to give it back because he figured it out when he tried to have a phone call and couldn't have a phone call. So yeah, I ordered a new webcam, so I'll be doing one day a week using OBS, um, figuring out the uh, anti-lag setting for OBS, so I'll be able to run it. Premiere 2 is nice, not much up on less bears. Check them out. They're not as expensive as Nighthawks, but I believe they are normally more expensive than like entry level Ed Browns. Less bears are all hand built. If a shotgun is not threaded, you can thread it to take a choke. You can. Uh, what is the difference between 308 and 762 by 51? 762 by 51 is the NATO designation. Uh, 308 is just the civilian rate, basically. They are very similar. Many uh, 762 by 51 can fire 308, but not all of them. You have to check with the manufacturer because some uh, there is a there is a pressure difference. It's like the difference between 556 and 223. There is a chamber pressure difference, but a lot of 762 by 51s can fire 308s. Uh, do do do. Yeah, you can thread one, but it's not going to be as, it's not going to, you're going to lose material. Have you ever done competition shooting? No, I did a little bit of um, low ready practice shooting with one of my uh, range buddies, um, but I've never done competition. I want to do competition, but I can't do it as long as my legs are all fooked up. When my legs are fooked up like this, I can't you can run around or anything like that. And he does matches where you have to move box to box and stuff. So I won't be able to do any of those with him. That was a question, can you? Yeah, you can thread the barrel for a choke, um, but you're going to lose material off the end. It's going to be, I don't know um, what they charge to do it, but it all depends on how deep you got to go for which choke you're trying to run in there too, because the number of threads, if it goes into the site, you're going to have to move the site back. Um, there's a lot of things that go into that. The best thing to do is talk to your local gunsmith. Do I have a Shield Plus video in your catalog? Yes, I believe that is coming... Um, shoot, that's right. That was the one that didn't upload. I have to borrow one from work and refilm it. Um, and I sold it on Saturday. Shit. Uh, I will borrow one from a buddy and do another video. I had one, I sold it and the video got corrupted when I uploaded it. Uh, it's a very good gun. If you've ever held a shield, it's just basically a little bit wider. Hey, what's up? Yo, can we do wet stream? No, I don't do wet stream. Can you name the safe or dealer that has the discounted gun? No, I can't because unless you're an FFL, you can't get the gun at that price. They still MSRP at two grand, twenty-one seventy-five. So telling you who it is will not do you any good. Uh, you'll have to find um, a dealer that's willing to do the looking for you, but they're not going to share you the discount. <sighs> Pardon me. Somebody had to blow my nose. Uh, what's up, Charlie? You got off work early. That's awesome. Did I see the saber daggers? No, I did not. Uh, so you got to go eat dinner. You are accepting the safe, so don't give it to someone else. Ha ha ha. LOL. Uh, I'll just let you know right now. It's not you, Mr. 45. Uh, yo, can we do extra? I said no. But you can feel free to, uh, make your own stream. Uh, you sent in. They haven't gave you a sender an answer you mean um yeah uh i think it can be i think you can because obviously you're taking the thread out inside for the material but i think you have to make sure that you take out enough material so that the choke is smooth inside so that it chokes it down the right way instead of having a hard ass edge in the barrel so it takes the right gunsmith to do it yep milo and shiloh just chilling out i moved over to a different part of my room too so I normally had everything on the other side. This side has a longer desk, so I'm going to be working off this for a while. I'm going to put all my gun lockers over there. Is this an edge-friendly space? Uh, I mean, unless you're being blatantly offensive or criticizing people in a negative way or just being a dick, feel free to let fun stuff fly. You know, dark jokes are fine. Just don't get racist or start berating other people. 
Uh, well, you'll be back anyways. You still love me. Thank you, Mr. 45. I appreciate that. Any thoughts on Anderson Manufacturing by chance? I don't mind them. They are the cheapest way to get them. I mean, they're lowers come in blister packs, so that'll tell you what you need to know. But uh, they seem to be decent quality. They put together easily. I definitely recommend them over an ATI, especially any of their polymer shit. Uh, the suspense is killing you. Sorry, man. What's my favorite pistol red dot? Honestly, Sudden, right now, it's my Romeo 1 Pro. I have that on my um, X5 Legion 320, but I also have a Leupold Delta Point Pro on my M17, and between the two of those, I really like them. Next up would be the Swamp Fox. Um, I had the Kingslayer and the Justice. I liked those, and then fourth would probably be Hollow Suns. You're calling your mom. Oh, sorry. Uh, Want to hear a joke? Sure, Andrew. Wow, that is a gaming computer. Yes, sir, it is. Uh, man, take all the fun out of it. Can't, sorry. Um, but yeah, so this is actually the newest version of it, and it's not done yet either because I'm actually redoing all the piping. It's got soft tubing in there. It's all going hardline tubing as soon as I get all my fittings. But it's also going dual pumps. So it's going to be a two-pump. Um, two-pump chump. Maybe that's what we'll call it. It's a Mac. You shut the frick your face hole, snafu. Just for that, you're definitely not winning. Uh, you have an Anderson lower with a PSA pistol. Upper runs great so far. Yeah. I mean, as long as you take care of the damn thing, you have a good chance of it lasting a long ass time. Can you do anything now to win? No, unfortunately not. The entry ended at 11.59 and you had to go to a different video and comment and all that stuff. I've already picked the winner. Uh, you got a lower from Anderson with that cool Greek Molon Labe symbol. Oh, the Spartan. Yeah. Awesome. You need one. You need to learn how. What, your computer? Yeah. That's uh, with the PSA Dissipator upper. I love the Dissipator. Dissipator's made a comeback in a big way this year. Um, but yeah, if in terms of computers, they're really easy, dude. The, the hardest thing to get into is water cooling. Water cooling can be as expensive as a computer when you get into there. Um, this has got an EK uh, distribution plate, but I'm also going to be running a secondary pump res combo for the graphics card alone. I've got two radiators, all this stuff in there. It's going to have three, six, nine fans. It's going to be crazy. You can see a bunch of the fans are up there. Sorry, I'm trying not to shake my desk too much. I didn't notice my camera was shaking. No problem. Uh, how's, how's shipping going to work on the safe? It's drop ship, and you have to be within the contiguous United States. Uh, also, congrats to the winner. We will. Uh, three. Three what? You built a CV-19 Dissipator. You love it. Nice. Damn, she's fine. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to have... It's got three fans up there, three fans for the radiator front, one fan there. It's going to have two fans on the bottom pulling air up, and that should be enough. I might put it in push-pull. <sighs> CV-9. Which one's the CV-9? Pull that up. It's also the name of a Nixie tube. Nice. Uh, join his page. He said he will be doing more giveaways. I definitely will. KP, that's always a good one. You need a hobby. You think you should do water cooling. Yeah. Um, like I said, uh, you can do yo-yo. Pretty sure your subscriptions are private. Boo-hoo. Um, they might have been. Like I said, of the 180 people that actually got entered, um, only about 100 had public subscriptions. So for some reason, a bunch of people entered and didn't change their, private, their settings. Um, looks really fun. Nice. Uh, Saeed is in from Iran. Oh, okay. So was that, that was the PSA one. Gotcha. How often will you have to drain the water loop? Um, do I have any body armor? Jordy, no, I do not. Thank you for asking. Uh, back to your question, Sudden. Um... If you use proper coolant, like I use real PC coolant, not distilled water. Distilled water is one of the biggest lies that uh, YouTube computer builders will tell you because uh, distilled water becomes mineralized. Um, it picks up all the contaminants and things from the blocks and stuff. 
So I use a real coolant, and as long as I don't use something that's got pigments and stuff in it, if I use a clear or a color clear translucent, then I can usually get a few years out of my coolant. Like this is what's going in there next. So it's a performance cooler from coolant from Corsair. It's a red, so it's gonna be a clear red. So basically it's gonna be a red drink running through my system. Um, I have once accidentally drank this stuff while trying to grab my red drink. So I'm very careful these days. Uh, no, it is not safe to drink. This stuff is literally like engine coolant only without plasticizers in it. it it's antimicrobial, antibacterial. Um, if you drink this stuff, you will wind up in the hospital. Am I in Georgia? No, I'm in Virginia. Uh, Optics Planet says your shipping should be like three to five days when processing your purchase for a month. Ain't even shipped it yet. That's not good, Skin. But yeah, the other thing I do if you are into water cooling is you need to get a water cooler prep kit. This has a radiator cleaner, um, has rad clean, uh, reboot, and straight up system prep. So I run this every time I add a radiator because I had to buy a new radiator because I'm actually running an aluminum. And if you ever did a custom loop, you know that's a bad thing to have up top, but it's only been in there for two days, so it'll be fine. Um, antibiotic, anti on and uh, that sounds awesome. Time out. <laughs> uh, let's see, you spent about three hours to figure out your, you were not blocked. Oh, sorry. Is that some codeine in the back? Where are you looking, son? There's no codeine in here. That's uh, that's a big ass thing of uh, cashews, which is like codeine. Uh, does it come in grape flavor? Nope. I was in Virginia once. She was good looking, and then I had to go back to West Virginia where my sister was. Mm. But yeah. Anyways, let's talk a little bit about all the other giveaways that we'll be doing. So today is I'm gonna put up a post in the morning. Um, it's a day late, but you know, I had to deal with the scam shit as well as the fact that, uh, I wound up getting massive, uh, runny butt syndrome yesterday. So I couldn't get the tattoos worked on yesterday. So, um, unfortunately I didn't put up the giveaway video for this week, so I'll do it tomorrow. Who ended up being the winner? I'm announcing that in 26 minutes, redneck. Uh, cashews are addictive. Yes, they are. And I'm allergic to peanuts. So I only eat a few at a time. There I am. There I are. All right, I'm getting a little annoyed at the fact that this thing is wobbly as fucking shite. Damn scammers. Yeah, no, I started seeing those emails at about one o'clock today or from people that um, were getting like scam stuff from these folks. And then all of a sudden I'm getting emails telling me that they were winners. It looks like Google and YouTube actually stepped up and blocked them though. So we should be good to go there, at least for the foreseeable time being future thing. Did you miss the giveaway? No bacon, you did not. I'm giving it away in 25 minutes. That's right, kids, I give it all away. But members, all you members are qualifying for this. This is what you guys agreed that you wanted. This is the CMC Precision um, single stage drop-in trigger with the two and a half pound pull and the flat trigger. So that is for the members, uh, the first Friday of the month. Uh, I believe we're going to do a couple of Amazon gift cards just for everybody. So members are also included in the end of month giveaway. So if you're a member, you can still get qualified for the gift cards as well. So ew, you may or might not have purchased a nine millimeter Night Stalker. Is it a double stack? BB, is it a double stack Night Stalker? Why did I promote, promote Warrior Land and it's a scam? I never said Warrior Land is a scam. Who said Warrior Land is a scam? They sent me an actual product and I've talked with them multiple times. Can you give me a, an example of how Warrior Land is a scam? Uh, if I make the trip eastward from Southwest Virginia, other than Liberty Firearms, what else should you check out? Um, there's not a lot in the Harrisonburg area in terms of like gun stores and stuff. There's two Walmarts, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, otherwise you got to come all the way up to the Winchester area, like Middletown Firearms. They're up in the Winchester area, in Middletown, Virginia, actually. So things like that. What do you do to get in on the trigger? You have to join the channel as a member. It's two bucks a month to join. 
and then I'll be doing giveaways. Uh, basically what you're doing is when I do uh, batch filming and I upload like 10 videos, which I've done a couple of times, you guys will have instant access to every upload until they go public and then everybody else will get to see them as well. But you um, also will get a little bit of a more recognizable um, username. So you'll have a star next to your name, so it'll show up easier. Uh, nice trigger giveaway. I think so. It's a good one. You got a jet, your little dude's fifth birthday. Not sure you heard the winner yet. You didn't, but I can tell you, Blab, it wasn't you. So, unfortunately, maybe you'll win the next one. Um, you ordered two times, never got your items, and they don't send it. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Maybe I'll send them an email down. If it is proved to be that they are pulling some kind of scam, I will definitely uh, make an update to the video. However, they didn't pay me to do the reviews or anything. I reviewed the samples they sent me. So, I don't know what you want me to say. They seem to work. Um, if there's a problem with them as a company, I will figure it out. If they are not on the level, I will let you guys know, and I will find you an alternative. Thank you for letting me know. Um, yeah, I have a direct line, a direct line to the Warrior Land people. So, like I said, I'll reach out to them. We'll see what happens. Uh, you run a Warrior Land for your 17, and it's done you well. Yeah, I mean, I've got them on the 17 and my Sig X5, and they seem to be working. So. You hate subscription because you forget you have them, but I'm thinking I like the channel. So, KP, I, there's no insistence that you need to do that. And the giveaway for members every month will change, as well as the number of items I give away as we gain more members to the channel. So, the more we do, the better it'll be. Uh, does Walmart sell ammo? And then he joins anyways. Hey, KP, thank you very much. Does Walmart, Walmart sell ammo in your area, not yours in Georgia? In Georgia, except shotgun. Yeah, same thing up in Harrisonburg. Uh, Walmart in um, West Virginia, where one of the gun ranges I'm a member at does, but you have to be 21 to buy any kind of ammo. Uh, good evening. Hey, Kane. How's it going? You probably become a member this weekend. Credit card got stolen, so we'll see if you get your new one in. No worries, dude. Whenever you want. No, KP, I have not announced uh, that you don't have to enter. You don't have to do anything as a member. You're automatically entered in for the giveaway at the beginning of the month. It's the first Friday of the month. You don't have to do a thing. You just have to be a member, which you are. So Papa Bear, what is going on? Good, sir. How you doing today? <sighs> Mine sells hunting rounds only. Whose decision is that? I don't know. Lol. Well, that's why um, Places like up in my area, Dick's and Cabela's, they stopped selling guns, period. So then Sportsman's Guide or Sportsman's Warehouse wound up coming in. Same problem. In Southwest Virginia, you can get 23, 22 long rifle. Yeah, okay. Well, that's interesting. Uh, not all of them do it, but all the Ace Hardwares around us sell ammunition. What is a hunting round? Probably like number seven, number eight, and then turkey loads. They probably don't sell slugs or like good high brass stuff. Uh, Winchester sells rifle 65308. Oh, does the Pleasant Valley store? That's always good to know. In Texas, we can get whatever in Walmart. Yeah, yep. All good here. Junior's finishing up his dinner. We're just chilling. Awesome, man. And are you special? Yeah, mom always said you were special. KP, you're very special. You are a very special human being. Ace Hardware, yeah. Ace Hardware's um, in Northern Virginia. Uh, they're owned by different people, so they're all franchised. But yeah, a lot of them go in together. Uh, the local ace to me had Barrett for a while. You found four leaf clovers, the other four, four, eight, four leaf clovers, or clover, and your cat ate seven of them. Well, that means your cat now has uh, nine times seven, so 63 lives. Pretty good. The aces here in the ghetto don't sell ammo and lock up almost everything. <laughs> I thought that meant like the rifle round and crap. No. You have to travel to West Bend for your favorite store for good deals and cheap transfers. Most of the inner city stores are $100 for transfers. Holy shite. Uh, you are special. Don't let anybody tell you different. Yes, Bacon. You're, you're, you tell them. KP, you are special. Don't forget, you're, an, you're a beautiful unicorn individual, just like everybody else. Uh, giving me something to listen to while you change off some winter tires and do an oil change. Where are you that you're just getting out from your winter tires, son? Uh, hey, Joe, what's up, gun fan? What's up, Crypto? How you doing today? Just kind of uh, seeing all the people that's coming in here for a while. Yeah. Before we announce the wiener. We's gonna have a wiener. We's gonna have a wiener. 
we just gonna have a wiener. Uh, nothing, man. You didn't miss anything. KP is like fire. DB, I'll show you my unicorn. You didn't answer my question. Did you get the double stack or the single stack, DB? I uh, heard good old folks at ATF is going after Cabela's. That would be interesting. Uh, man, Kentucky looking better than back home right now. <laughs> I'm so bright, my mother calls me son. I love that old joke. Uh, you can't stand the gehetto. Every granddad is in the hospital. I have to stay with your grandmother in the gehetto. And uh, it depresses the shit out of you. No hunting, no shooting, no nothing. Eh. Hey, Joe, where you gonna go with that gun in your hand? I'm um, not going far because I keep hurting my hands. What's my opinions on staccados? Staccados are overpriced. They're good shooting guns, 100%. Beautiful guns. However, with the large crop of 1911 double stacks and high capacity and the 2311s, 2011s that have come out, I think you have better options. You could buy a Rock Island high capacity 9mm double stack, send it to Atlas Gunworks, come back at about 2K, and probably have a better gun. Uh, nope, I did not. I saw, I heard Epstein was getting in trouble. Uh, if it's made in Texas, can quiet shite goes through, do you think that uh, you would open the doors for the rest of the states? No, it might open the door to a few states, um, but the states that would open up to it would have to have the same exact reciprocity as Texas. I believe like North Carolina is very similar in a lot of their laws. So I do believe that some states like that would potentially um get in on the action but not all of them it's like constitutional carries in like 23 or 25 states or something like that it would be the same kind of numbers uh it would be a lot of constitutional carry states that wind up allowing just walk in walk out suppressors y'all see the atf directors attempt to remove all this the slide from the uh, glock yeah you got the t sauce for 7.99 uh so then you got the double stack nice who's diddy p diddy sean p diddy combs he likes to um facilitate the purchase of miners for um, less than good purposes. He's a diaper seller. Uh, opinion on Gerson 1911s. They're decent. Um, the t sauces have the full forged frame, slide, barrel, and everything. The Gersons are pretty close second. Some of them need a little bit of tuning to make them run 100%. Uh, conspiracy carry. That's when you carry thinking everybody's out to get you. Uh, he likes to diddy kids. Uh, he did. Now he's on an airplane somewhere. Have you seen the I own a musket for home defense me? Nope, I did not. Yeah. Unfortunately, he is Buzz. Francois! A guy's in here from Francois. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Uh, sorry. Do -do -do -do. If you're wondering, you're sitting here wearing your battle belt with your M and P9 eating a banana chocolate chip muffin. Yes, yes, you are. Awesome. Do do do. Okay, Rock Island and Atlas for better internals. Yeah, there's um, Atlas is one. They take a while. Then there's uh, Hayes Custom. Uh, they manufacture 1911s that have been modified um, any way you want, and they're like 1800. So you're talking optics cut and everything, and they're probably coming at nearly a thousand under the full size staccato, and you get a full steel frame. Um, yeah, F the pedos. Yeah, I agree. Just as the founding fathers intended. Okay, I missed something. Molder father focus. Nah, I don't want to. Uh, Hayes is badass. At least I assume that's what you mean. Uh, any opinions in considering between an AR or AR pistol? From what you understand, wouldn't it make sense to go pistol? Because a pistol can be a rifle, but a rifle isn't allowed to be a pistol. Absolutely, Kane. If you have the ability, if you're over 21 and you want to buy the pistol variant, I would highly recommend you buy the pistol variant because all you need is a butt stock and a 16-inch barrel, and boom, exactly. You can convert back and forth, and you don't have any single problems. Um, but if you buy the rifle, like you said, you cannot convert it into a pistol. The only thing you can do in this is an SBR. Uh, tally ho, what's up, ready, ready, neck, neck? Uh, did I pick one already? Yes, I've already drawn the winner. 
uh, and I'm announcing in 10 minutes. Uh, check, check your tally ho, mate. Uh, anyone else sitting at work going, getting paid to watch a live chat? That would be funny. That would be funny, 100%. All right, going to give Hayes a gander. Yeah, Hayes makes some good stuff. They make lots of upgrades for the Rock Island series. And the Rock Island series out of the box is actually pretty nice. I had one. Um, I did about three hours worth of work, and the thing was smooth as glass and 100% reliable. Uh, Bacon, I'm announcing in 10 minutes. You have to be patient, my man. This is like the Oscars, and you want me to announce best actor up front? Do you think I want to get slapped by Will Smith? You have to pace it. Uh, Lionel Richie. Yes, Lionel Richie is the winner. Although now some dude named Lionel Richie is going to come in here and try to win. I uh, want to know something really stupid you want to see. Glock 18C with a 16-inch barrel in one of those PDW kits. Um, I think the cyclic rate would be too fast, man. I think the cyclic rate would actually stop it. Um, just mag dumping it will slow one down. You're confused about who makes the decisions on braces. Feels like they've never, they've been seen since they're so confused on their opinion on it. Um, yeah, exactly. Unfortunately, when you, if you watch the, uh, the deposition that the Congress did to the head of the ATF, the moron who just continually thanked him for being able to answer and then didn't proceeded to not answer, he doesn't even realize what a brace, what a brace does. It's a stabilizing brace. Yes, it's made for people like me who have massive nerve damage and eventually might lose the use of his arms. And when that does happen, then I'll have my brace. But yeah, he was like, oh, well, it allows you to shoulder it. That's fine. If I put the buffer tube up to my shoulder, it's going to do the exact same thing, you dumbasses. Uh, Congress is confused, too. Yeah, there's only a few guys, like in Senate, Congress, things like that, that know what they're doing. And they're the ones that do get all the airplay on the two-way centric shorts and things like that, where they destroy the ATF and destroy everybody. Um, but then there's... A vast, the vast, vast, vast majority of the morons uh, sitting on Congress, Senate, things like that are just completely clueless. That's why you got guys like Brandon Herrera. Yeah, great. He will make a great technical consultant for U.S. lawmakers um, in the state of Texas, at least. But he um, he won't be able to affect the change he thinks he will because there's too many people out there with too many high paying people in their pockets to... Uh, really do anything about it. Hello, is it me you're looking for? Do, 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 do. You're not okay with somebody making laws on stuff they don't know about, regulate it, sure, but you knew what was going on. The ATF was, it was and is nothing more than an extension of a law enforcement agency. They should be enacting uh, laws that were placed on the books by other entities, actual constitutionally given rights to make laws. That's why they keep getting slapped down on things like pistol braces, bump stocks, etc., because they like to issue laws without consent. Uh, what is the deal with the Springfield getting sued by Fabrique de National Herstel over the SFAR? Um, FN is suing Springfield because SFAR to them sounds too much like SCAR, and they think that the SFAR will cannibalize sales of the SCAR even though they're two, two completely different platforms firing two completely, uh, well, actually, no, they do fire the same round, but two completely different platforms. Um, have I seen the video of the ATF engine struggle to take down the pistol? Uh, I have not. I've heard a lot about it. I have not bothered watching it. Um, I, I can imagine it in my head. Ruger's wrestling. Smile. F the ATF. Yep. Uh, you're going to say congrats to the winner, So, and then your fire detector goes off. Well, that's good because I haven't announced it yet. The ATF is good. Hey, yeah, well, they're idiots, morons, and should be eliminated. Shall not be infringed upon, but it feels very infringing. Oh, yeah, they're infringing on all the rules because they're stepping on Congress's toes. You don't step on Congress's toes when you're trying to be buddy-buddy with them. That's how they're getting the major smackdowns. Uh, true, luckily, we got a solid, strong republic, and Congress keeps those a-holes in check. Yeah, but it takes a long time. Plus, a lot of members of Congress, Senate, all those different committees... Um, they're bought and paid for, which is a pain in the ass. Uh, you're 75 grandfather and you've never, uh, seen many smart folks in Congress. Gun smart anyways. Yep. Uh, am I, is it me or are you buffering? You're buffering. I'm not. Um, I'm watching right here and I seem to be running just fine, son. But I will refresh my page just to be sure. Uh, how much longer? Nine minutes, bacon. Nine minutos. Oh, no, 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 no.
ATF doesn't go through Congress to make laws, so that's kind of unconstitutional. Unconstitutional, if you ask me. Yeah, well, it's kind of unconstitutional if you ask Congress, because Congress said the exact same thing. You are not a lawmaking entity. You had no right to make it a law. You could have made a suggestion so that we could propose it and examine it and suggest it. But since you decided to step on everybody's dick, well, now you're getting slapped. Uh, am I getting a plate carrier now or what? If I do, I do. It's not on my list of things I really want to buy. Uh, running good on your end. Yeah, it's him, not me. DB's in Florida, so he's probably like got swamp gas or an alligator farted or something. Uh, bacon ass again, we cook him, right? Bacon ass again. Um, I'm going to throw him into a lake of fire. Uh, Ryan, what is up, Sonny? I've been wondering where you've been. You haven't been in any of the live streams. You make me sad, make me think you don't want my guns. I got some guns. I got a beautiful SIG 226 Elite. Uh, yeah, just like killing that guy because they got a warrant and went in at like 6 o'clock in the morning. And anyway, it's pretty sad. Yeah, the one they shot in bed. Come on. What's my favorite 1911? Uh, my favorite one, unfortunately, I sold it. was a Kimber Aegis Elite Custom Bobtail. I sold it to buy a SIG 220 Elite, or a SIG, excuse me, SIG 220 Legion. And the gun didn't shoot for shit, so I wound up selling it. So it made me pissed. It's going to BLTs. I like Butler Tactical. Uh, that's where bad folks go when they die. What, the ATF? Uh, who is the most reliable besides Glock? Uh, Smith & Wesson M&P series. I put that up against the Glock in terms of reliability, functionality. Beretta has a really good track record, like in the XM197 trials. Uh, it was, I think, second highest. Uh, yeah. Is that a new tattoo? Uh, we did some more work on the existing tattoo. He darkened in the line work that was over here. You can see that there's much more dark line work in it now. And then this one was actually on, I, from using my arm on a desk. I would actually worn off half the line work, so we redid the line work. And then on this side, I got um, the, the day I almost died tattooed on me. And then redid a few other ones. Uh, CZ is slept on. Yeah, I like CZ. I've got a couple. Uh, well, even if all the branches become tyrannical, we got the world's largest civilian militia. Sadly, the shit takes a while, and the ATF wants to go 1980s England, but the Constitution's got your back. Also, there's no way they're taking 300-plus million guns out of our hands. High point is... <laughs> uh, I did pick, but I have an announcement. I haven't announced it. I'll announce it in a few minutes. I want to make sure enough people get a chance to get in here and follow along while we do it. Uh, you like your P09? Awesome. I'm surprised with all the gun regulations. There's none on flamethrowers. Flamethrowers are hilarious. You can buy a flamethrower and right on the box of most flamethrowers, they say it's great for clearing your driveway. If you get the um, the diesel uh, diesel fuel mix going just right, you can actually clear your sidewalk with one. What are my tattoos about? They're mostly to hide scar tissue. If you look at my left arm, you'll see I've got lots of scars. My skin is terrible at um, and Unfortunately, with my nerve damage, scabs hurt almost as much as open wounds, so I tend to pick at them. So I wound up with a lot of scar tissue. Um, obviously, you see most of them are old, but I still have lots of scar tissue, so I'm just trying to cover them up, and that's what these are doing. We're going to go in there with more shading, and then I'm getting, next weekend, all of this is getting covered with another big piece. And I'm also doing some custom stuff inside these CPUs. It's going to say, like, uh, Korea inside. And then uh, I'm going to misspell Samsung on purpose just to fuck with people. It's going to say Samsung. Let's see what somebody says. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Aww. You too, buddy. I know I'm not a Glock fan, but if I had to pick a favorite, what would it be? I like the Glock 34 and the 17L. I like a full-size uh, competition-ish Glock. Um, and I've sold every one I've had, but right now I've got another 17, um, with a magwell and light and stuff on it. I just, I, they're, they're eminently replaceable and you can always find one cheap. At least if you work at an FFL. Been a Canic fan since 2012, buying a Glock 17 from your employer. They are getting all new Glock 47s, you think? Well, that's a good way to go, Ohio. It's definitely a way, definitely a way to get a good one for a good price. Canada took two of your non-restricted rifles and declared them prohibited, making thousands of people criminals overnight. The M305 and the CZ855F this. Yeah, sorry, crypto man. That sucks. 
You just got a larger pine tree tattoo with a stump and an axe to the left half of your stomach. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Did it symbolize something? Uh, half of your thumb is gone since it got ripped off three years ago. With a, with, wish a tattoo could hide that. Um, you should get some kind of weird tag tattoo. Like uh, back in a minute or something. Back in five minutes. Like one of those door signs that says back in five minutes. When they cut my big toe off, I was going to put went to market on my foot. But then they started cutting more. Fortnite Battle Pass. There you go. Uh, your brother cut it off? Holy shit. What's the major change going to be on Glock Gen 6? Uh, it's going to have a 6 next to the word Gen. Uh, you could get a guy looking for it. Nice. I've never gotten tattoos. Should you get some? Only get tattoos if you want to. They are permanent. And uh, my father asked me to explain what it's like. I told him it's like being stabbed 800,000 times, and it only hurts while he's doing it. As soon as he pulls the needle off of you, you feel okay, and then it just feels like a sunburn. But it was the whole getting stabbed 800,000 times that I think threw him off a little bit. Go figure. I also told him he should get arrested, but, you know, he doesn't want to do that either. Went to the market. Love it! Nice. Uh, they will make the triggers worse. <laughs> they will find some way to do it. They'll put mag disconnects in them. Glock does have the kind of balls where just to screw with the American public, they'll put a mag disconnect in the Gen 6. Uh, a wolf on the right half of your stomach represents the chaos of the wild, and the tree with the stump and axe represents the order of man. Nice, dude. Uh, somebody has a question. Go for it. Uh, you know a guy who has a bullet wound and is tattooed as a target? Nice. Uh, we were cutting down trees, and his dumbass uh, axe caught your hand as you were swinging your axe back. He is a close swinger and doesn't cut, don't cut trees with him anymore. I wouldn't either if he was close enough to hit you with an axe, bro. That would piss me the fuck off. All right, one more minute. Can you guys hang on one more minute? Done both once at the same time. Recommend neither, but hey, live your life. Yeah, I didn't do them at the same time, luckily. I wasn't in jail long enough to get tattooed. Uh, potato on your head. Heel represents a potato. Oh, I thought you said it was on your head. I had a lot more respect for you when it was on your head, bro. Uh, how do you feel about 2011s? I like them. Unfortunately, Staccato went all dickish and trademarked the name because they were one of the first ones to go to market calling them 2011s, even though Para Ordnance technically created them because they came out with the first high-capacity 1911. Staccato was the first one to market with the removable grip module. So because they made the removable grip module separate from the mid-frame, they were able to recently trademark the 2011 name. That's why the Gersons and everybody else are called 2311s or 3011s. Or they just call them HC 1911s, high capacities. So if you ever get to get tattoos, you're going Yakuza style. So you're going to cut off one of your fingers and wear diapers? Uh, when did you go? What did I go to jail for? I had this really bad habit in my 20s of not paying my car insurance. And uh, back in the 90s, if you got pulled over for driving without an insurance, without valid insurance, and then you get your license suspended, and then you drive after suspension, then you drive after revocation, they are required to take you to jail back then. Nowadays, it's their uh, option whether or not they take you to jail or not, but uh, back then it was mandatory jail, so I've done like 11 days in county jails just because I drove without a license. Um, also, I murdered a man while selling him cocaine on the border or the car thing. 180 viewers, hit the like button. Yeah, all you mofos in here, come on, hit the like button. I'm announcing the winner as soon as I'm done with this story. Uh, is there a good double stack 1911-45? Yeah, the Rock Island double stack, the TAC-2 uh, TAC Ultra Match, it's like a 1000 bucks, but it's really good out of the box. And Gerson and TSOS both make a 45 variant now, so check them all out. Uh, how much time now? I'm doing it in a second. Scam. Yeah, okay. Uh, you can ask all the members that I've actually given gift cards to if I'm a scam or not. You got trespass three times at Vermont during spring game. Nice. All right. Anyways. Oh, we just dropped down. Okay. To all you people that are here to see the winner. The winner, as I've pulled, uh, there were 180 entrants, okay? And of you 180 entrants, not even two-thirds of you had your goddamn subscriptions public. So a lot of you didn't get to qualify because you were not following the rules, which completely blows my mind, but I'm 
telling you right now, for the next one, make sure your freaking subscriptions are public so I can see the goddamn things. Uh, but the winner is Max Patterson. Not 100% sure who he is, but he's a subscriber. He's been subscribed for months, and he left a comment and liked the video. So, Max Patterson, if you're watching, I need you to send an email to uh, the Jiminy Show at gmail.com. I will do a post tomorrow talking about it. If I don't hear back from you guys, from you by Friday, I am drawing another name. I need to give this goddamn thing away. It's been a month now. So, Max Patterson. Send me a goddamn message. Uh, your German wanted to ask if you can buy new automatic weapons in the USA. You can't buy new ones, Emery, but you can buy pre-1986. They're called fully transferable machine guns, and they are extremely expensive. A fully automatic M16 is around $60,000. So, yeah, they aren't cheap. Man, he said Thomas wrong. Nice. Uh, congratulations, Max. Max, M-A-X Patterson. That was the name on it. Uh, like I said, if he doesn't answer by Friday, I'm giving it away again. I want to give this thing away. My sponsors want to give this thing away. So, uh, let's see. You're back. Hey, Andrew, welcome back. There's one more safe. No? No, there was only one that, I, that they were giving away. And then um, if you uh, come back tomorrow, there will be a community post that you need to like and comment on for the end of the month giveaway, the last Friday of the month which I believe is the 29th. On the 29th, I'm going to do just the subscribers giveaway for my channel, and I'm going to give away two different gift cards. So, uh, what'd you miss? Not much, Wes, and I gave away the safe, but we'll see if the guy actually contacts me. He's got to send me an email. Uh, you just got the 6 Sour 226 Legion single action only. You love everything about that piece. How can I know whether it has the PVD finish or that Cerakote finish? It's PVD. Um, it's actually a different coating. Hold on a second. I'll tell you what it is. Um, it is not Cerakote. Now, they say that it's finished in a Cerakote, but it looks a lot stronger than that. They do an electric plated Cerakote, which kind of sounds like a, um, what do they call it, when they bake on the other stuff. I thought they were doing PVD, but they might have switched to Cerakote for the Legions. The X5s are just stainless, so sorry. I apologize. I thought they were doing a different finish now. Um, Cerakote is what they're saying they have. Uh, Avocation, what's up? Just buy an 80% and drill a couple extra holes. Lol. Yeah, that never goes bad. Uh, do I know Sword make, Swordmaker Man, Mando? No, I don't. Uh, you're a two-month member now. Awesome, Wesson. Uh, you can, can you tell? Um, well, you can't really tell. There's nothing to really tell. I did not notice my camera started falling. How you guys doing? Um, I wondered why it was starting to droop more and more. Apparently, I'm too stupid to look at my desk. Hi. Were you able to see your subscriptions? Yes, Monster, I was able to see your subscriptions. Unfortunately, you didn't win, but I did see your subscription, so thank you. The date on the box is July. Well, no, they're saying all the elites are, or all the legions are Cerakoted. We're falling. Have I ever made a P80? No, I have not, but my buddy um, Sam has, and I thought it was the funniest thing ever as I watched him drilling out his frame. Uh, you have a first program, first chat here. You are a nice fella. Thank you, man. Thank you, Buzz. I appreciate that. Um, is switch illegal on an AK-47? Yes, all machine guns manufactured after 1986 are illegal in the United States of America. You are not, by law, allowed to own one. So in the United States, you are not allowed to own a machine gun if it's newer than 1986. If it's older than 1986, you can buy it under Class 3 status, but you have to pay a $200 tax stamp and an exorbitant amount for the firearm. So if you want a full-auto MP5, you're talking $70,000, $75,000. You want a Mac 11, you're talking $12,000. Uh, if you want an M16, like a Vietnam-era M16, then you're probably talking close to $100,000 now. A little while, how you been? Uh, yeah, kid, it's been a little while. It's good to see you again. Mm, boom, 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 boom. Uh, yeah, don't listen to Legend. 
Uh, that's all you needed to know. You appreciate it. No problem, dude. Do I have a 3D printer? No block. I do not. I don't want to get caught up in that. Um, where was I able to see yours? Yep, you did. I did. Plus, I knew that you were anyways, Papa Bear. So had your name been the one that was picked, I would have known that you were a sub. Uh, not everybody does. You are in Russia, so you can use it. Um, yeah, I'm sure in Russia you can. Of course, if you have a full automatic AK-47 in Russia, you're probably already supposed to be using it somewhere that your falsely elected dictator, I'm sorry, president, likes to run. Don't forget that is for our safety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, right? Is Cerakote better than PVD? Is it better and more durable? Excuse me if you're asking too much. You're not asking too much. Um, normally, PVD and titanium nitriding and some other forms of coatings can be better than Cerakote. However, if the Cerakote is done right, I can tell you that the PVD on my Glock has held up extremely well to being thrown around a lot because I like to throw that gun um, a little bit better than some of the other ones. Uh... Can you manufacture a machine gun with an SOT license? If you have what's called an 0702, that's a manufacturing license, you can build machine guns, but you are not allowed to sell them to the public. You can build display and demo uh, machine guns that can then be held, owned, and demonstrated by FFLs. Stop turning. There we go. Uh, you want to buy one. You should. Uh, what is the best night vision? Um, well, usually the stuff that the U.S. government keeps, but you can probably get something on the civilian market. You recently got a Glock 19X with holster, two extra mags, original box, 100 rounds of range ammo for $400. Did you get screwed or a good deal? You got a good deal. A stock one is $548 um, without the 100 rounds of ammunition, and normally it would come with three mags, so if you got five mags, you did well, because mags are 30 bucks a piece, and 100 rounds of nine right now will be running about 40 to 50 bucks, so... Yeah, you got about an extra hundred dollars. You got about six fifty worth of stuff for four hundred bucks. You did all right. Um, my buddy's making a shitey shotgun on his own. Any tips on stopping him from blowing his hands off? Yeah, cut his hands off because homemade shotguns are dangerous. Uh, the coating on your brass deflector was gone after the first few rounds. Oh yeah, on your AR because that's their coat. Yep. All 0702 can also make them for Leos and military personnel. That is true. You can manufacture them for any. What I meant was, is you can't sell them to the civilian market. So yeah, so you can sell them to a dealer that has a class three. And yes, if a local law enforcement wants you to convert MP5s into SP or SP5s into MP5s, you can legally do that, and it's not difficult. Uh, could I DM you the pictures of the race cars on Facebook? Sorry if you already answered, but you didn't hear. Um, yeah, just click on the Facebook link in my about. Um, it's just at the Jiminy Show at Facebook.com. Um, I'll check them out when I see them. I don't use that very much. Which is better, Cerakote or PVD? PVD is better than Cerakote, but Cerakote can be good if it's done right. SIG has been making the Legion for a long time, and you haven't seen a lot of stories of them coming apart, like where the coatings are coming off. But yes, uh, PVD is better than Cerakote, in my opinion. Guns! Woo! Guns! Woo! Griffin, I like you, Gryffindor. You want a 3D printer just to make lock mags. Apparently some uh, newer files are pretty reliable. Um, wow. Called the Eric Mendez version 2. I'm surprised they aren't telling you how to make shorty shotguns. Uh, hey, how not going to try to kill the vibe or anything, but last weekend you got diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, so if I could get some prayers, it would be nice. I hope that you uh, hang in there, brother. That's not fun. Um, yeah, that's not even something you wish, wish on your worst enemy, dude. So, yeah, absolutely, brother. Prayers are with you for sure, dude. Um, so, how might I be able to get one of those 0702s you speak of? Well, I know that you're a minor, so that you can't. But I, as a legal uh, adult with no criminal background, I can apply to the ATF. They do have to, you do have to have a securable location for storing the items. Um, much like a brick and mortar FFL, however, you can do it out of your house, but you have to have like, um, like your entry windows can't be, um, open to the public. So they, you have to be like barred windows and things like that. Um, you don't need a safe, but you need un, you know, like extra thick, um, deadbolts and locks and stuff on your door. So they can't just kick in the door to get into there. Uh, why are cops allowed to have firearms that other citizens can't? 
They aren't. Uh, if you're talking about the machine guns, most of them don't. The only ones that typically carry machine guns in the United States are special operations. Um, um, they'll usually have one or two individuals in each individual police station that are qualified on machine guns. Not everybody has a full machine gun. Most of them just have AR-15s, usually 10 and a half to 14 inch AR-15s and shotguns and stuff. Most do not have them. It's about to look something up. Oh, boom, your granddad had it. It's not heredit. It's hereditary. So there's something in the water. Um, yeah, no, that's just unfortunate. The uh, genetics, dude, I have a degenerative nerve damage, but it's not MS. So, you know, I don't even want to say I can even understand what you're going through, bro. I hope that you can uh, stay strong. Smith and Wesson 45 M and P first trigger seems soft. What do I think? It is, uh, but the easy fix is an apex rolling trigger. Uh, they're like a hundred and some bucks, easy to install, completely change the feel of the guns. Er, okay, cool. You're all good then. Well, I'll keep your eyes and ears open for the next giveaway. Congrats uh, to Max Patterson. Yep. Papa Bear, also, you're automatically entered into the member one. So that one you don't even have to do anything for. You're just automatically entered. Uh, SWAT. Yep. SWAT holds them. Um, to, what's up, Zaxxon? IRS. What do I think about old school Datsuns? I like them. I, you're, and I assume you're meaning way back in the day, like Datsun 200 ZXs and stuff. Um, yeah, and the Datsun uh, Love pickups. My mom had one of those when I was a kid. I like Datsun. They're pretty cool. Um, once they got fully absorbed into Nissan, though, they kind of went away, obviously. Drunk Miles, what's going on? I'm doing good. I'm hanging in there. You don't know it's common in this area for some odd reason. We'll see how things go. That sucks, bro. I know at least seven people in your area that have it that's crazy sorry you're late who won the giveaway a uh, gentleman by the name of max patterson so i'm going to check my emails in a minute that's what i was doing can i buy your computer no you can build your own though it's nothing fancy i actually went down a generation uh how are you going to pick the winner for the safe i already did so i took all the people with visible public uh, subscriptions i put all their names together in a randomized list and then I took a random number generator and I picked a random number and the winner was Max Patterson. So he, I need him to send me a, uh, whatchamaflutzit. Uh, IRS has machine guns. Yeah, that doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Tax boys having fully autos. Although IRS is the one that protects the legacy tax stamp, believe it or not. If the ATF had their way, a tax stamp for an automatic machine gun or a suppressor would be $10,000. But because the IRS actually controls the tax stamp, uh, it's never gone up. Is it legal to have a full auto trigger group in a lower without the fun hole and sear? Um, the minute you put a full auto trigger into a gun, e even if it's not drilled for the third hole, technically you are assembling a machine gun, um, but it's a vague thing. I mean, I guess you could get away with saying that since the gun technically doesn't have the right sear or technically doesn't have the fun switch hole, that it's technically not a machine gun, but it's still put in there under the guise of putting a machine gun trigger into a gun. Uh, oh, nice. Was I in the raffle? Um, I didn't look at all the names. Like I said, I used a randomizer. I didn't want to become, I didn't want to be, you know, somebody accused me of being biased or something if I had given it away to one of my freaking mods or something um, without them actually being entered in legally. Uh, you guys would have thrown a shit fit. So, do, 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 do. The, the IRS has an offensive unit. Um, they can, they have legal, they have police capable people um, when they serve like the business um, stop and seizures for, for businesses. Like uh, my buddy's store is in the middle of an IRS audit that's been going on for two years. Aren't you allowed to convert a semi-auto semi -auto to an auto with a tax stamp? Nope. You are then creating a, a, a machine gun, which requires the 0702 license. You cannot take any gun manufactured after 1986 and equip it with anything that enables machine gun fire, unless, like um, Nero had pointed out, uh, on top of manufacture and sell to them. But you cannot sell to the civilian market. You cannot modify a semi-auto and turn it into full auto. If that kind of loophole existed, everybody would own one. Everybody would be doing it right now. Wow, this thing's going to definitely fall again. 
Your phone, your phone must not like you typing IRS. <laughs> was there ever a full auto 1911? Technically, there was a prototype called the 1912, and it had an extended magazine and a buttstock brace and, or a wooden buttstock, kind of like the um, full auto VZ70 has. And uh, that one was capable of full auto fire, but it was just a concept. The IRS are pirates. Yeah, they are. That's a spanking. Your Gerson was when you first got it. Yep. Now there are manufacturing defects that can make a semi-automatic gun go burr, especially 1911s. If the sear is too heavily polished, too small, too short, etc., it can go have what's called a runaway. A runaway is different from a machine gun because a runaway is not something you anticipated. It's just something that happened. Now the 1911s can be a little bit scarier when their, their sears break because it will fire as soon as you drop the slide. So you go to rack a 1911 with a bad sear, as soon as you release that slide, it's going to start firing. It almost out, almost operates like an open bolt at that point. You got to go. Thanks. You'll be back. All right, Buzz. Thanks, man. Uh, there's even a full auto 22 1911. Remember being made in Mexico? No, I don't remember that one. Do I think Russia will launch the nukes? No, nope, they will not launch nukes because we have nukes. See, actually, one of the only good things about nukes is that uh, we have just as many more, more than likely, but we have just as many as they do. Well, he has he's obviously not in the live stream. I'll announce it every hour or so. Uh, would you ever take a trip to Texas? If so, you'd love to have you out at have me out at the range with you and your uncle have Black Powder Gun Club. We do a lot of competitions. Um, I, I don't have any anticipations on going that way. With my health, I don't really leave the kind of like the five state area that surrounds me much. Um, and we'll think I can't do long car rides and I hate taking planes because I was in an aviation magnet in school and I know what pilots are doing when they're flying and it scares the shit out of me. Uh, out of my experience, do I prefer SIG 226 single action or 229 sing Legion single action? Now you already own the 226, but you don't know, but you know you kind of like the 229. You're thinking about the recoil range and shooting in general. Yeah, 229 is just a small 226. So, I mean, if you like the 226, 229s are basically the same thing. There's no reason to really get one uh, if you already have the 226. Uh, you buy it if you like it. Shite, you missed it. Who won? A guy named Max Patterson. And you guys can search through the comments and see that he's his name is there. Uh, not talking about carrying since we don't need to carry at all. There's no need, you know. Yep. Okay, what about full auto conversions done before 1987? Were they able to be tax stamped? Um, and if they were licensed and papered, uh, kind of like during the amnesty period for the pistol brace, they gave the public time to register their firearms. If the firearm was registered prior to the 1986 um, assault weapon or, or excuse me, machine gun ban, then yes, anything built pre-1987, um, as long as the conversion and all the work was done before 1987. You can't just buy a gun that's a 1986 vintage and then convert it because that doesn't qualify. As long as it had its paperwork filed before the ban went into effect officially, was your gun protected? Uh, a guy named Max Patterson, yep. It wouldn't even fire. It would fire a single round, then go half cock, and every so often after cocking it like a revolver and then firing it two to three shot bursts. Uh, that means that the uh, the sear was just barely, barely messed up. Hey, what's going on, hunting? Sorry about the scammer that tried to get a hold of you, man. Grayson says, sorry, I was on a date. Don't be sorry that you were on a date, dude. That's awesome. Civilians are only allowed full auto if it's one from pre-86, no, pre not 96. Um, 96 is, was the assault weapon ban. Um, the machine gun ban is 986. Um, then the tax stamp with that, then even before you get said, uh, transferables, you have to be wary of the state and local laws. Yes, there are nine states that do not allow class three. Uh, don't move to any of those states. Uh, you had to ask to make sure. No problem, dude. You take it back. You're uh, one month, not two months. Don't worry about it, Wesson. You're in, you're in, you're in, buddy. 
Uh, how are those pistol lights holding up? Did I do any testing? Uh, I did some testing. I have footage of me shooting with them on the guns. They seem to hold up well. Unfortunately, somebody stopped in and said, unfortunately, that uh, uh, Warrior Land is no longer returning uh, requests and not sending out any products that are being purchased. So I need to email them and see what's going on because I'm not going to continue to promote a product that nobody can buy. Uh, sorry, babe. Got to wrap this up. I have a live stream to catch. Nice. We'll see you after you eat, dude. Uh, you were thrilled when you saw that you won this morning and then you checked and saw that it was a scam and realized it was just another Monday. Yeah, sorry, legend, man. Um, I was getting ready to go in and have the tattoo work done and I noticed, I checked my emails and all of a sudden I had four different people emailing me their names, addresses, and telephone numbers telling me they won. So, and then I went looking for the comments and they had already been removed by the time I got in there. So, YouTube, YouTube stepped in and took care of it, but boy, was it a pain in the ass. Sorry, my camera rig is falling again. I need to get a block of wood underneath this edge of the table because it's got a concave bottom. So it should be fine, but it also makes me look like a dumbass when I'm sitting here rotating the shit out of the way. There we go. Yeah, a little bit more. A little bit more. If DB was in here, he'd having be having a stroke right now. Stop kicking it. His favorite line stop taking it uh the 40th like nice thank you drunk mouse you moved to wisconsin you're 10 so you have to move to iowa soon oh bummer uh wait it was just a troll or were they scammed somehow um luckily the ones now i can't say for certain because i didn't get any follow-up emails from anybody else but uh hopefully nobody sent them like gave them any information or money or anything but just from what i saw there we go. Uh, yes, Steven, somebody did win. Max Patterson. He already won, so I'm waiting for his email so that I can confirm that he's the winner. And uh, tell him how to get his prize. Uh, what price point does an AR become not reliable at? Um, when it has the words ATI Omni Hybrid uh, melted into the plastic body that it's on. Um, I've seen Delton 416s selling for like 375 bucks, and they run fine. So you just got to make sure that it's uh, mil spec, not commercial. Commercial, there's not as many parts availability for it. Also, you need to make sure that, uh, you know, it just looks like it's got all standard parts in it. You don't want anything with proprietary parts, uh, mag catches, anything like that, because then it becomes a pain in the ass. But as long as it looks like it was made the right way, a lot of times they're very close. AR-10s are a lot more variant than AR-15s. Uh, Crap, I wasn't supposed to give that telegram number to my credit card info for a shipment. Uh, no, go ahead and send that to my email. I'll verify that it's, it's working. Uh, yo, Joe. Yay, G.I. Joe. Congratulations to him. Yeah, 100%. Can't figure out how to non-private your subscription. You're bad at computering. Um, so what you need to do if you're on your computer is you go to your um, uh, edit channel thingy majigger. I'm really smart. If you just click on your profile pic, it'll you, it'll take you to a new window where you can go down to um, settings, and then you want to go under your um, ba, ba, ba. sorry, it's different for me because I've I've got a different um, thing than you do, but yeah, it's under your settings and you can edit it. Oh, well, I found you deleted his comments. That just it, Legend. I didn't. So I was sitting waiting to go get my tattoo work done, and I see the emails. I go to try to find the comments. They were already removed, and they weren't even in my help folder. So someone at Google or YouTube did it. Raina said that uh, they called or they reported it. So I'm thinking enough people reported it as a scam, and they got pulled down. AR-10s are a gift from God. Yeah, but only if they're not in 300 or 308. I want one in um, um, 375 shy tack I'm just kidding. Yeah, AR-10s are cool as hell. They just get expensive to use. You got the MMP Sport 2, runs fine, but does feel a little low end, which is funny because it's a nearly $700 rifle to buy a new one. Uh, what's the fastest velocity-wise 556? What brand? Uh, Federal makes a VMAX. 
Um, and then there are match grade ones that I don't have any experience with, but you can see some 5.56s five, that are pushing like 32 to 3,400 feet per second out of a 20 inch barrel. Out of a 16 inch barrel, I think 3,000 to 3,200 feet is the uh, max that I've seen uh, for a regular one. Yep, uh, Anderson all day long for budget builds. Almost all your builds are almost are mostly Anderson. Nice. What's the what is that in the background? That big machine. That is my computer. It allows me to look at the internet and Facebook and uh, yeah, do all the little thingy to be do do's. Hey, what's cybersecurity is for a great thing with the right connection. Telegrams encryption is easy to break through, and you can find a lot of scammers locations. Yeah. Uh, I've watched a bunch of those videos. I never went to school for that, so I'd have to learn. Uh, M110 is your favorite AR-10. Very expensive, though. Nice. Anderson lowers. It's that time. Back in a few. Uh, if you're still partying, yeah, I'm not going anywhere, dude. My legs are both asleep because I haven't been sitting in a chair much lately, but uh, we're doing good. FYO over here, almost new AK-47 full out is about 800 where a new AR-15 Daniel Defense costs 15000 Isn't that crazy? We run into that over here all the time. People are telling us that, um, where it's way the opposite, way the opposite. A pre ban AK-47 is going to run you somewhere in the neighborhood of like a hundred grand, anywhere from 70 to a hundred grand. And the AR-15 is semi-auto. Yep. Uh, yep, they're cool as long as they ain't the poly ones. Yeah, never get a poly AR-15. Doesn't matter how cheap it is, it's never going to be long-term reliable. Uh, am I from Pakistan or is the other guy? Because I think the other guy might be. I am not. I'm just very tired. I'm very Korean. I'm kind of like Markiplier. Half white, half Korean, Korean mother, white dad, military, uh, father. Yeah. Other guy. He's from Saudi. Oh. oh, shit. Did I win the auction? Yep. I just spent $3 on a bunch of comic books. I'm such a badass. Uh, ever thought of getting the PSA iteration of the M1... Uh, M1100. No, not really. I'm not a long gun guy. Um, I'm a pistol whore. Wherein I love I love pistols. Um, 3D printer makes Boogaloo switch, Glock switch, and makes ATF moot. Uh, they will be next on ban or heavy restrictions. Well, then that's not making it moot, Mr. Spidey. Um, yeah, being able to manufacture an item on a printer does not make it legal. Uh, did y'all just open up a Dragon Ball Z? Nice. What are y'all's gun laws like over there? Probably not the greatest. You build them from the ground up, your choice of lower, uh, lower upper and lower barrel ECT. Yep. Spidey, they already have started in California. Yep. Um, yeah, they raided those kids that were building, uh, what was that? Uh, they were like 18 and 20 years old for the super safe triggers. Hey, it's only illegal if they're caught. Yeah, but the problem, Nero, is most of these morons that uh, like to build them and then publish them on YouTube, thinking they're using Smurf accounts and shit, just like you were saying how it's easy to find people. Yeah, all these morons that build their full auto Glocks and shit, and then they show them off, and then they show their buddy's face, but not their own because they're fucking morons, and they're holding a gun like an idiot, and then they're, they're selfieing with their phone, thinking that they're getting away with that shit. Yeah, fucking morons. They're the reason we can't have these things is because they're the ones that the government is afraid of. Uh, way it's illegal. Not like they're bragging about it on YouTube. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you never put your guns out on the internet. Yeah, and I agree, Masquerade. Like I said, you've seen some of my guns. You've seen the guns that I've made videos on. If you notice, a lot of them are borrowed. Um, but yeah, and there's a few that I've shown multiple times because those are my favorites, but yeah, I'm not one of those guys. There are plenty of guys out there that are doing the, in my March, 2024 collection, my May, April, 2024 collection. These are the guns I have sitting near my door. These are the guns that I leave in my kitchen when I go out to the movies with my friends. It's like, dude, people that show all their guns and their locations, uh, S T U U U U U P I D stupid, stupid. 
And if you are one of those stupid morons, congratulations. Yeah, I am a gun channel. Yeah, I have like 800 gun videos. You've never seen my guns. You've seen some. You haven't seen my guns. You've never seen my safes. You don't know where they are. Now, some guns I don't mind showing. And the other thing that I don't give a shit about is showing serial numbers. That's one thing that everybody needs to get over themselves on. Serial numbers are useless. Because if you file a stolen gun report on my serial number, you just filed a false report on a firearm. You just committed a felony trying to get a free gun out of me. Or trying to com complicate my life or ham up my life. So yeah, go for it. Because guess what? When that serial number gets run, it goes back to the original issuer of the stolen gun report. So if you want to try to take someone's serial number and file a stolen gun claim and you can't prove that you're the owner of the gun and I can, you literally committing a felony. So, again, go fuck yourselves because you don't know what you're doing. Um, no, 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 exactly. No, I'm not saying you are, Masquerade. Um, you're giving yourself to have someone break into your house when nobody's home. Yeah, pretty much. Um, have you ever seen the World War II airplane 1911? Nope, I need to look that up now. Hey, Mr. 45, what's up? If there's a pic of my guns, they are on my bed, never where they are stored. Yep. Just put who, who, too much information. Yeah. Uh, you remember that? It was annoying. Amazing. Boom, 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 boom. What's up, Spoolie Fish? Winky, winky, are you making fun of the fact that my right eye is barely open? I'm very tired. I get very, very suspicious when I get tired. I turn into my full roof Korean heritage. Like, I can see fine, even though it looks like my eyes are closed. Uh, so I sit on the roof and I watch out for you, stupid son of bitch. Uh, you have a Colt AR-15A2 pre-ban from circa 1986. Are the pre-ban Colts desirable on the resale market? They do bring a higher price, um, but pre-ban just is because they, all assault weapons got banned um, since they released it after, what was it, 2004 or something like that. They, they still get a better resale value because they're of better quality than the post band guns, but they aren't like as much. You got your FOID card. Awesome. Is it just me or did he just lag? I might have lagged a little bit. I. And. Then what? Uh, but. It. Uh, it. It's a 1911 with a 20 round mag in a case cage used while flying in planes during World War II before they put machine guns on planes. Very cool. Oh, that's kind of neat. Squinty eyes, better for long distance shooting. You had sinks all around eye, but no. Especially since I've had to retrain myself how to shoot. That's another reason why I haven't done as many videos. Like when you see the rock one that goes live tomorrow, my groups at 15 yards are like that big. I mean, granted, I'd only shot the gun that time for the first time and I only got four mags out of it. But I had like three inch groups at 15 yards, which is unacceptable, but it's fine for self-defense shooting. But I couldn't tighten them up because I kept switching between left and right eye dominant, uh, which is what happens now. Um, because they screwed up my left eye so bad that I walked around with only my right eye for like three months. And my I, I couldn't shoot straight with my left eye anymore. But now that my left eye is a lot better, I'm going back to left eye dominant. And it's throwing my shooting off by a lot. You used to squint a lot till you got glasses. Yeah, well, unfortunately, I paid $5,000 to get rid of my glasses, and now I squint anyways. My son used to ask me to show firearms to some of his friends. You told him you sold them all and never tell his friends that you have again. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, your screen moves in the back. You can lie to us. You can't lie to us. <laughs> Not the end of the world. Yeah, that's true. Some dumbass did a false report on one of your rifles and got five years for that. It was a headache, but they got a huge kick to the nuts for it. Yeah, exactly. It's the same thing as filing a false hard R report or filing a kidnapping report or filing a burglary report. Anything like that, especially involving something that's a firearm like that, yeah, it's an instant felony because you're lying on a you're 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 filing a police report, you're wasting police resources, and then when the time comes, you're wasting court resources. Your thoughts on your previous comment? Uh, did I miss your previous comment or was it held? I think your previous comment was, I think you're pretty. Uh, with your 1911, was that the last one? Sorry, dude, I'm going back and trying to find it. I think I missed it. Uh, can you retype your comment, Papa Bear? 
is being a YouTube live streamer a sustainable job or do you do something else too? And this is just like a hobby. Um, Herdwick, uh, it's not sustainable when you're trying to do it in this fashion. The vertical live streams are just to get my name out there more. Um, obviously I've gotten enough subscribers that I have a button, so I make a little bit of money, but no, you cannot make right now in a niche world like I'm in the gun side. I don't think streaming would make the bills paid. Uh, headed to bed at night. All right, Charlie. We'll talk to you later, bro. Uh, nice tattoo. Thank you, man. Uh, 220. Um, I had one. I didn't care for it because it had the wrong sights on it and it would not shoot uh, correctly no matter what I did. Shot three feet low at 10 yards because it had the wrong sights on it. What happens if a firearm yours gets into a criminal's hands? Are you or they charged with a felony? It all depends. If they stole the gun then and you report it, you're fine. If they steal your gun, you don't report it because you... Um, didn't know it was stolen, then you're probably fine. If they, if you willingly sold a gun to somebody, especially in a state that doesn't have private sales, like we don't have private sales in the state of Virginia anymore, and that gun gets used in a crime, technically they could say that you did something wrong. But most times when a felon gets a hold of somebody else's gun and use it in a crime, unless you knew of the crime beforehand, you won't be charged um, in whatever the outcome is. However, again, if you fail to report the gun is stolen, if you fail to report that your gun is gone, then yeah, you can be held liable for actions. And they will try. They will definitely try. What the f... There we go. Sorry, it started moving again. Uh, can we see the new ink from this morning? Yeah, so um, like you said, you went through and... He finished in the, the dark line work for a lot of these. He redid this one. It had completely like faded halfway. It had worn off because I didn't get it healed before I started using my arm a lot. But all these panels, he, he darkened and filled in. Uh, down here, it's filled in now. Um, he redid some of these to make them darker because the way my skin heals, it really sucks. And then right there, um, I had him add 417, 17 to my arm. Excuse me. Also, that gun is never getting back to you if it's using a crime, correct? What's going on, unknown? Give it like a decade. Well, yeah, it, it all depends on what it's used. And the winner is Joe Biden's bum, bum, bum. Joe Biden's bum. I would never give a gun to Joe Biden's bum. Thanks for all the info, info your information. Uh, you, you informed me you appreciate it. No problem, sir. I appreciate that. Thank you very much for tuning in, especially from way out of nowhere. Appreciate that. Uh, thoughts on the 5.7 pistol? I have a couple of them. Most recently, the Rock from PSA. Uh, that's the striker fired one. It's a good round. It's a fast round. Uh, if you get a steel tip or even the full metal jacket, they can punch through soft body armor. Um, expensive and um, less practical than you would think because most of the guns that shoot it are five inch barrels. Uh, PSA is coming out with their compact dagger and TSOS is coming out with one. They're calling theirs the PX57, um, but we'll have to see what theirs are like. But you lose a lot more velocity if you drop down to a four inch barrel, believe it or not. You need to get back to the shop for more ink. It's just so expensive. Yep. Uh, yep. I'm working on that all year. You're eating cold Taco Bell burrito. Mmm. For when you need that diarrhea the next morning. What do I think of the VP9? The HK? SK? Oh, the small one. Um, I'm not a small frame guy. Um, I'm a full size guy. So, I mean, it's a pretty nice gun. But uh, I would go with the regular size VP9. In fact, I would probably go with the competition, the long slide, personally, just because, again, I'm not a small guy. I like the bigger, bigger, bigger guns. 22 TCM is underrated, 100%. I've had a few Rock Islands that shoot that, and they shoot it very well. I would definitely consider getting another one of those. Uh, pricey round is what it is. Yeah, I bought some of the FN Gunner stuff, their new stuff. It's cheaper than the Federal and all the other ones. It's even cheaper than the AAC stuff, and it was still, like, it was on the shelf for 36 I think I paid 25 a box. Uh, cold Taco Bell, you okay, man? You need help? I think he needs a microwave. Unless you're small, get the full-sized always. Yeah, and it's... There's different thoughts when it comes to buying a compact or a subcompact gun. A lot of people will go with the subcompact gun for carrying purposes. They go with the 365. I've seen so many 365s get traded in because they're too small. Here's the problem. 
And there's several self-defense shooter instructors that I, I follow that give the same piece of advice and shoot what you're comfortable shooting, carry what you're comfortable shooting, because if you're not comfortable shooting it, you're not going to practice. If you don't practice, you're going to be underprepared when the event actually happens. You're going to get one shot off. You're, the gun's going to go flying because you didn't grip it right, or you're not going to be able to hit a target because you didn't practice with it right. So I carry a 5-inch 1911, and when I'm at the gun store, I carry it in my pocket. So I have a pocket carry urban carry holster that I carry a five inch 1911 in because I, I would prefer to have a gun that I'm excellent with versus a gun that just is easy to conceal. When I go out in public, I actually do an inside waistband carry on the 1911 because the 1911 is the platform I'm comfortable with. You're a big guy, so carry full size isn't a problem for you. Small guns are too snappy. A lot of them are. You want to get some nice pit viper glasses for the range. Yeah, they're a little expensive. They do really work, though. I've got some um, yellow pit vipers, and I like them. They make everything super bright. Uh-oh. Yep, nothing yet. But i got to be fair to the winner. He gets, uh, he gets till Friday. Uh, you want to get some, if you don't mind the weight, 1911s are pretty comfortable. Yep. And since they're thinner, believe it or not, a 1911 will fit in the same holster as a Glock 48. Do, do, do. If you're smaller and you always carry a full size but leaves a print, kind of why you want a 365 XL. Yeah, it, you're going to print. 90% of the time people print even though they don't think they are. So you do have to keep that in mind. You're probably going to print. Carry the Gerson 1911 with a four inch barrel. Yeah, there you go. Uh, 25, yeah, you gotta pay 36. Well, I pay 25 because I work for a gun store and I got it at cost. Do you notice that the camera is slowly dropping down? My table is actually bending. Carry the Gerson with the four inch. Hola, Canola. Okay, Bill. Uh, hello from Kazakhstan. Hey, how's it going, man? What just happened? Everything just got shuffled around. I've been sitting so close to my screens for the last three weeks that everything's a little bit blurry. Plus, I'm, my eyes are blurry. Hang on a second. I'm going to do this for a minute while I readjust what I'm doing. Yeah, because that is, this is some quality shiz right there. Hold on a second. There we go. So, uh, yeah, you guys just sit there. That That's perfectly fine. Hold on. Yeah. Can you see me now? What? Yeah. Okay. DB would be killing me right now. Oh, and I almost turned my phone off. That would have been hilarious. Yeah, yeah, okay, we're good. And, yeah, yeah, you're good. This is what you subscribe for. There, let me move some shit around. Love the channel. I wish I had read that comment before I just gave you an epileptic seizure of a dumbass trying to move a camera mount. Ever played Nintendo 64? And if so, what's your favorite game? Love the reviews, by the way. Thank you, Doughboy. Uh, yes, Battle Tanks was actually my favorite one. When you got the nuke and you could blow up the whole map. I love Battle Tanks. Please, sir, do you recommend PT-191145 ACP? Is it a good gun? Uh, the Taurus PT-1911 is decent. However, I will say that there are other options that I think do the job a little bit better, including the... Um, there you go. Uh, we're working on the guy. How's my day been? Well, uh, somebody tried scamming people on my giveaway, and now I can't get my goddamn uh, camera mount to securely fasten anything. So it's going about as you would expect, good sir. Why can't I find a good spot for it? I mean, that should be a good spot. Why is it? Oh, I see what the problem was. Hold on. Any good pickup lines for women? Yes, but it involves going to a bar. So what you do is you grab four ice cubes and you walk up to the woman that you want to talk to, right? And take the ice cubes and you smash them into the bar. And you look her right in the eye and you say, now that I've broken the ice, I'm S.A. Ah, uh, 007 is a masterpiece. Yeah. Any thought on SIG 1911s in general? Yeah, I'm not a fan of external extractors. I think it goes against what actual 1911s are, but their build quality is not to be trifled with, and the SIG Nightmare is really a good gun. I had the Nightmare uh, a couple of times. I hope it gets better. Me too, man. Me too. I used to play tanks on Commodore. PET computer is off a of cassette. Yeah, I remember cassette. 
You love the Mortal Kombat trilogy, which had the best... Yeah, I think that had the most characters, too. Mmm. Yay. There we go. A little bit closer now. A little bit closer now. A little bit closer now. Yeah, I found a better spot on the edge of my desk. Uh, apparently where I was putting it, it had a void and not the bowel kind. Do, 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 do. I'm new to my channel, so do you do any hunting? Uh, no, Mason, I don't hunt, and that's just because nobody's ever taken me hunting. Um, if anybody ever invited me hunting, I would go, but uh, I'm also a blabbermouth with extreme nerve damage, so uh, I don't think I'd be much fun to go with. I'd be like that Bill Engvall um, joke where he takes his wife hunting and she won't shut up. Uh, you still find it funny when you're out and about for a quick errand run and open carrying and there's that one couple that talk loudly on how white you are, but in reality, you're a pale Mexican. Just carry around a Corona. Oops, that was a little racist. Sir, are there any recommendations for a non-threaded Glock 17 G5 compensator? For a non-threaded one? Um, none that I would recommend because the only ones that you could actually run are the ones that are actually held in by where the uh, recoil spring goes. And the last one I had of those broke. So I don't recommend one that isn't for that. Unk over fan. Yep. Yep. Come to Vermont to hunt. You have the land. Yeah, that's a long way to go though. All the way up there, eh? Uh, I got, we got, uh, timeshare up in New Hampshire. Um, that's about as north as I go. Uh, lols. Uh, what's my opinions on the M1A M14? Um, I like the Grand. Uh, I almost bought a tanker conversion that we had at Middletown and inadvertently I'm wearing their shirt, but yeah, uh, I almost bought a tanker conversion that had been converted to 308. That would have been really fun. The M14, uh, I've never really spent much time with a real M14. Uh, the coronavirus, he needs a quarantine. He has a gun. He can do whatever he wants, buddy. That's why I think everybody should be forced to carry a gun. And they should all be forced to carry them open carry, at least for five years. If everybody has a gun, I think guns become a self-correcting problem. Joe, 2024. We can do it. Question mark? Why would he carry one of those? <laughs> last, last question, best ears protection for shooting. I use um, just your standard walkers. Um, and then I usually just wear in ears, like uh, foam in ears, or you can even use some of the Lehigh, uh, not Lehigh, um, just any in ear. So the main thing you need to protect against is the concussive wave and the sound wave. So even in ears will protect for most pistols. When you start getting into the hypersonic crack out of like a high end rifle, 30 out six, 308, six five Creedmoor, whatever, then you want to wear over ears. Um, and then when you get up to the big dogs, 338 Lapua, 50 BMG, uh, 375 Shy Tac, ones like that, I would recommend that you wear in ear and over ear protection. Um, but personally, when I shoot most handguns, I can usually get away with just wearing foam in the ear canals just because I actually like concussive force. I just don't like the sound. So you mean the Wild West again? Yeah, 100%. I, I absolutely do, Redneck. You know what? Uh, there were a lot of stories, but not a lot of civilians were killed. And when the civilians were killed, they usually killed everybody involved in killing the civilians. Nowadays, that shit goes unpunished for a long ass time. Uh, duh, duh, duh. You got it. You're going to get your next Glock and get uh, get it. Corona's Hydro Day. <laughs> You should do that, man, and carry it in the holster that has a little lime on it, or, yeah, that would be funny. Oh, no, 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 no. Paint your spare mag to look like a salt shaker, and then carry a lime. Your thoughts about Smith & Wesson 66-2 uh, and 357 Magnum? I don't have a lot of shooting experience with them. I've played with them in the store when they've come in. Uh, I do appreciate them. They're pretty nice. Um... And I'm a pretty big fan of everything Smith & Wesson revolver-wise. 
Yeah, pretty much. You ain't wrong there. Leo, back then, were really only the government and local was really only in town. Pretty much every town had a sheriff, and that sheriff could deputize anybody. Now, if you believe all the movies and stories we used to read, a lot of those sheriffs were corrupt, but at least they didn't kill innocents in their town. They would just kill people they didn't like, which were, that were like degenerates, gamblers, murderers, thieves, hard artists. I think I can say the word rapist because I'm not using it in any sort of real like educational or, or direct context, but I really don't like saying it because, you know, <sighs> if you're a kitty diddler, you should go to hell. Hello, got a scene like a few people have, but let's talk about, got a, hello, LOL, I get a select few people have to, but let's talk about how open carry makes you look like a, a dweeb with a target on your hip. Okay, thank you. I finally understood it there. It took me a second to get around that uh, Glock. Um, open carrying in a state where you can only open carry is fine. Open carrying in a state where you have the ability to get a concealed carry permit is not recommended. Uh, I've seen a lot of people. I've told this story. We had somebody come into my store carrying a high point on one hip and a heritage rough rider on the other and a cross draw holster. There's literally no reason to open carry either of those guns. And there's also no reason to carry those guns. People in a state with open with uh, open carry that where it's completely legal or with concealed carry yet they still open carry are just doing it to show people they have a gun. Those kind of people are the people that I kind of want around me because they're the first person that's going to get shot when somebody who is actually concealing pulls a gun, which will give me time to draw my gun. But I think it's absolutely not the thing to do. Which caliber do I prefer, five five six or seven six two? Um, 5.56, five, just because I have more experience with it, I like the 7.62, and if I'm going to compromise and stay in an AR platform, I'll go with the 300 Blackout, very similar bullet weights. Actually, the 300 Blackout's heavier. But yeah, it did work, that's true, yep, definitely getting that, and the extension is getting a lime design, there you go. Yeah, so you have the Corona, and then you have the lime extension on it, and then you have a, your spare mag that you can pull out is, look, is, is painted like a salt shaker, that would look awesome. That would look awesome. It would fit in with like uh, when Canik did the Miami Day and Miami Night Guns. Ow. God, my jaw is locking up really bad. That's always a good thing to have happen when you're talking for multiple hours straight. Holy shit. That many people commented on that one, huh? Yeah. Anyways. Oh, man. You guys are wonderful. Nice, got to go, just subbed, about to uh, do some gaming. Awesome, Icewing. Enjoy your gaming session, man. I got to rip apart my computer after this live stream because I've got new coolant, new radiators, and a uh, completely different setup coming. It'll be completely different with uh, on uh, Wednesday. Have I messed with any gun wraps? Nope, have not. Have I heard about the new Canik TTI Combat? Yeah, it's overhyped, dude. Pedro, it's not really a Terran Tactical. It's a Canic that Terran Tactical allowed to put on his name on it. He gave a couple of design inputs to it, but it's not built by Terran Tactical. It's built by Canic, and it's just stamped Terran Tactical or laser and grit with Terran Tactical. Uh, a better gun is the Rival S, the steel-framed Rival. will outshoot the Terran Tactical all day long. It just doesn't say Terran Tactical on it, and it's $150 cheaper. Um... Let's go! New case. No, case is staying the same. That's an Enthu uh, 719. It's actually a really nice case. It's actually a dual system capable case, but I only run one system in it. But I need the larger case because I'm running dual pumps um, and dual reses and dual loops. So the graphics card is going to be on one radiator and the CPU is going to be on the other. Looks like a recolored Pro SFX. Uh, it's not even an SFX. It's just a recolored Meta Pro. Actually, it's an SFT that's been redone. They cut it so they, they could put the compensator on it. Oh, Lobster is here. What's up, Lobster? Uh, you have the Rival S. Then, dude, you are miles above the TTI, dude. Just stick with what you got, dude. It's so much better. better. Uh, what's the biggest round caliber that I have ever shot? Well, technically, a musket ball's round. But if you're talking about center fire guns, uh, 50 BMG out of an M82A1 is the largest caliber gun I ever shot. Uh, you want to get the SFX Pro. Yeah, they are nice. Um, I like it because it's got this, almost what is it, 6-inch barrel on the SFX Pros? Uh, but yeah, we shot a 50 BMG. So our store, Liberty, had a customer that wanted to sell his M82A1. And we had another customer looking for an M82A1. So we basically played the middleman between the two people. So 
but before we gave it to the new owner, we asked permission from him and the previous owner if we could shoot it first. So we took it out to a buddy's farm and we shot that. It was it was pretty cool. Uh, you'd carry it. Yeah, that'd be cool. How much kick does a 50 BMG have? It all depends on the platform. So we had a boys anti-tank rifle at Middletown and they took that out and shot it and it had such a large radial compensator on it and the weight of the gun was so high. They said shooting that was like shooting a um like like a like shooting a 270. The 50 BMG kicks for sure, but you can rapid fire that while shouldering it if you really wanted to. Um, but I was rapid ship firing it from a table and it felt like honestly it didn't feel much worse than like a 338. Um it, you're definitely gonna feel it, but it's not bad at all. Do I have a reference pre preference for or for dots over irons on any of my carry guns? Not on my carry guns, because I carry mostly 1911s. I actually sold my DWX. My DWX was supposed to be my carry gun, but it wasn't optics ready, and I didn't want to cut it because it had a really cool serial number. So I wound up selling it to a really good friend of mine, um, and I told him if he ever sells it that I want first crack on it. Um, we'll have to see. He actually dropped into the live stream one time. Uh, was We talked about it. Um, no, I have no desire to carry a red dot on my on my personal defense guns. I'm not saying that red dots don't have their merit. They definitely do. But the way I practice shooting is I don't need a dot. I don't even need a sight. I point shoot for the first 10 yards or so. So as long as my fingers aren't damaged in any way, I can usually out shoot uh, a red dot shooter point shooting for self-defense drills. Not for not talking accuracy, not talking long distance, but at anywhere 10 yards to three yards, I'm faster point shooting than most of the people I know with red dots. Uh, the boys anti-tank rifle, a World War II British AT rifle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Mr. Minigun. It was a 55 caliber that was demilled. Uh, the barrel was cut off and replaced with a 50 cal barrel, but the rest of the gun, it was only in sim it was it was it was uh, rendered single shot because the magazine was modified. And then it had a 50 cal barrel, not a 55 caliber anymore. It was a fun gun though. I think we sold it for like 6,500 bucks. Something like that. Wow. I put the charging cable on the phone and it dropped it. The battery's getting heavier. Also, it depends if you got a reciprocating barrel. If you don't, well, who needs shoulders anyways? No, dude, the boys' anti-tank rifle was awesome, dude. Mainly because it's also a mounted gun, but the radial brake on the front of the boys', boys anti-tank gun is hilarious. It numbs it way down. You like the World War II Panzer, Panzer Busch 39? It's a cool anti-tank rifle. I'll have to check it out. Hey, what it do, my guy? Happy Monday. Hey, man. How you doing, sir? I'm having a good Monday so far. I hope you are, too. Oh, my arm's a little sore. Normally, I get my tattoo work done on Sundays, but uh, I had a little bit of the runny butt syndrome yesterday, so I couldn't get my tattoo work done until today. And my arm is a little sore. And, of course, it's the arm that I run the mouse with, and the tattoos are all on the bottom of it for the most part. So, yeah, that's very pleasant. Your wife is getting her doctorate and you're currently providing. However, when she's done, I want to start your own gun shop business in Arizona. Any advice? Yes, always keep, and I'm not saying this so that you get robbed, but always keep cash on hand for buying guns. You will miss so many purchases if all you're doing is carrying just enough to get you by. Um, at any given time, we were always able to buy guns at our stores. And that is the trick you have to have. Somebody walks in. You never know. They may take almost nothing for their gun. And if you don't have a bag, you're you're not going to have a good shop. Also, don't be afraid to buy guns from the distributor. If all you buy are G2Cs, Glock 17s, Glock 19s, just the common shit, you're going to not get the right audience. You're going to get a loyal customer base, and you're probably going to get a lot of people that are like first-time gun buyers, security, things like that. You're not going to get enthusiasts. So if you can get up Dan Wessons and you can get um, any higher end guns, uh, the Shadow Systems guns, the, the Nighthawk Customs, Court Revolvers, things like that, as you build up your business, always make sure to spend the extra money to get your guns in there. Because once your name gets out there that you're capable of getting four, five, six, seven thousand dollar guns, they're going to come to you because it's always cheaper to go to a brick and mortar for those guns. What's my favorite gun? 1911 platform is my favorite, just in general. I love the 1911 platform. I can run 1911s all day long. It never gets boring, never gets tired, and I never get worn out. So Glock 17 L, then getting one of those extra big Coronas hydro dipped, then getting the salt shaker spare mags. Dude, you're going to look so badass walking around with that. 
Oh, you got to make the side of it look like the bottle and then the extended part, since it's a 17L, that'll be your lime. So the lime will be the end of it. So you're shooting them, you're shooting out of the bottle. Uh, sorry, you're back. Multitasking, you had to get Junior to bed. Your first question uh, was, wasn't Rock Island the first to produce a double stack high capacity in 1911? No, Rock Island is not the first. Rock Island actually copied Para Ordnance. Para Ordnance is the first company to mass produce the double stack 1911. They created it in Canada and then it became very popular in competitions. It was all the high capacity competition guns were just 1911s. But Para Ordnance started that, and then uh, as Staccato, which was originally STI, bought or started manufacturing the removable grip module 1911s, thus creating the 2011s. And this whole table is literally bending. Holy shit! So this is a, um, a folding table, and it's just not working. Just isn't working. I've got a solution, but I got to pick you up. Hang on a second. I got to fix this because I can't keep doing this, man. <laughs> I love your mother, but we fight every time we get together. Man. Uh, what's my favorite Smith & Wesson? Uh, my favorite Smith & Wesson is probably going to be in the revolver line. I like their uh, Model 29. Stay there for a second. You're about to see my crotch. Nothing you can do about that. There, crotch. Okay, I'll take you with me, I guess. <sighs> Look, buddy. If I knew what I was doing, we'd all be better. My pants are about to fall down, too. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this computer, get this out of here. It's fine. I know what I'm doing. That's the box from the uh, blacksmith safe that I looked at, by the way. So we're going to move this. There's a Beretta that doesn't shoot right. I tried it still in its box. YouTube, you can't do shit. <sighs> My place is a mess because I'm reorganizing everything. So that was the wall where my computer was. I'm actually going to put uh, all these blacksmith lockers there. Yep, this is classy. My pants are about to fall down. That's why I'm holding you up. You'll be fine. There we go. So anyway, that was me doing something stupid. Just trying to pass the time. You'll be fine. Yeah. Mobile is the way to go, it looks like. God damn, crotch shot. Yeah, we need a dedicated desk, dude. Yeah, I had one, but... Uh, do, 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 do. Yes, dude, will do. Nice. If you can only have three specific dishes of food for dinner for the rest of your life, what would they? What would you have? For example, you can't say pizza because I have all kinds of pizza. It has to be very specific. I got you, fam. Uh, Korean barbecue spare ribs, beef bulgogi bowl, and kimbap. Those three items technically food on their own, and I can eat those till the end of the world because I'm half Korean. And it doesn't even have to be my mommy's recipe. Although if it was, I wouldn't complain because she made some of the best kimbap. Uh, I had a dedicated desk narrow, and I will. Uh, the Ruger Precision Bolt Action 308 is also in your sights. Nice. Uh, hello, hello, Graham. Uh, what basic knowledge do I have to have to be a gun behind the counter? Uh, you have to have common sense, number one. Number two is you need to know the basics of handguns, especially Glocks, things like that. Uh, apparently, you can go into Senate work without it, but uh, if you want to work at a gun store, you have to have basic gun knowledge. Um, you obviously cannot be anti-gun because that would be uh, counterproductive. And then um, you need to have personal skills. It's the same kind of skills you need in any type of retail position, but it's more important for actually selling guns because you're dealing with people that have never owned a gun before, never held a gun, never never thought about purchasing a gun until they got into some kind of weird situation where they panic kind of a thing. Yeah, that'll work. So you need to be personable with people. Uh, what? Do, 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 hold on. What's the gun you hate or dislike the most? Kiapa. Kiapa, I had the M922, and I got eight rounds out of it before it broke. Kiapa refused to fix it, refused to take it back, and I wound up shooting it with a 3030 through the side. I still have it. You're on PC, and you just got a dang old ad. You're going to do that, um, YouTube, with their monetization. I think they're going heavy on ads. I think they're losing revenue right now or missing out on revenue. Diggy dee dee. Ooh, must have seen my penis. Uh, let's see. 
Have I ever shot a Smith & Wesson 500? Nope, Tim, I haven't. I want to. I'm waiting for my Raging Hunter 500 to come into stock so I can buy one. Have I ever sustained a gun-related injury? I caught an AK-47 ricochet in my leg. Um, I was actually behind the firing line on the other side of a fence, and the dude hit a swinging plate, and the plate was at the right angle, and the round bounced, came back from the target about 40 yards and struck me in the leg and some of the shrapnel went into my leg. Uh, guns, a gentleman named Max Patterson. So I've already announced his name. I thank you for reminding me. So Max Patterson, just need you to send me an email to the Jiminy show at gmail.com. Uh, what about 3030? What do you mean about it? Hawa, I remember the name. 21 minutes without any red drink. Got the red drink right here. Um, not a whole lot. How I recognize the name, though. <sighs> he wilt away without the drink. Oh, no. You love to see a day in the life of an anti-gun person working at a sales person. Uh, I'm happy, Hawa, uh, if that's what you're asking. If you're asking if I'm a homosexual, no, I'm not. But if you are, good for you. I hope you enjoy your time. If you're trying to get a rise out of me, trying to be a jerk, a dick, or interfere with uh, other people's freedom of being who they want to be, then good for you. You can have yourself a good band. So, you know, use your next words carefully. Am I fasting? No. Was it a practice round at least? No, it was a full fat wolf, or no, excuse me, Tula Ammo steel cased 762 by 39. Uh, I didn't know you were talking about the 3030. I left and came back to hear you talking about it. So I had the Kiapa M922, which is the 22 caliber version uh, Beretta clone that Kiapa makes. And it fired eight times and then decided not to run anymore. So there's a video on my channel of me taking that, an ATI 1911, and a Mossberg 930 Tactical to the range. And I shot it with all of those. And then the following weekend, I shot it with my Winchester 3030, and I put three rounds on top of each other at 100 yards through the side of the Kiapa. Best $300 I ever spent that way. But yeah, that's what I did with the 3030. Movies make gun wounds look like they hurt, but some source mentioned gun wounds more, so just sting. What would you say it was like getting hit by that round? It burned. Um, like I said, not a lot of shrapnel went in. It had lost a lot of its power. It more felt like getting hit with a steel BB. Um, but it was a sharp because the, the round had uh, deformed. So a little piece of it went into my leg, but nothing that I would consider a wound wound. So um, it felt more like a steel BB being shot at you. But yeah, I've been stabbed multiple times. I can tell you that hurts worse than, a, than, than that did. Oh, that makes more sense. Hey, Mason, what's up, dude? Uh, hollow Sun or Siley Red Dot? Uh, I'm going to go with the Hollow Suns just because I don't have a lot of experience with the Siley. Siley sent me one a long time ago that was supposedly better, and it was fine. Uh, also, it's hot as hell. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I literally dropped my pants right there at the range because I was worried, number one. But number two, it, it burned. Um, uh, so just light bleeding and like he got burned pretty much. Um, so like I said, he was about, the round ricocheted at about 40 yards. So it went over a hundred feet before it hit me. So it wasn't going full speed. If it had been going to, to 25, 2600 feet per second, it would have torn right through my leg and it was just above my knee. So that would have been bad. But literally I was behind the shooting line off to the side by almost 40 yards and the ricochet, ricochet still got me. How do I make money being the guy behind the counter? Is it commission hourly or both? And can you make more if you have gunsmithing background or degrees? And it's SDI good if you have an opinion. Lots of good questions. Uh, the way you make money behind the counter will depend on the store you work at. Most pay an hourly wage. Most pay an hourly wage. Some of them will do commissions. For example, Middletown, obviously we would sell warranties and they were good warranties, dude. You could buy a gun and get a four-year warranty for 7% of the cost of the gun. So if you bought a $500 gun, you paid $35, you got a four-year warranty in which we would have replaced the gun for free, no matter what the failure was, if the manufacturer refused to fix it. So that was a good warranty. But then the salesperson got 2% of that. So the store got five, he got two. So you can make a lot of money, sold a $10,000 gun, and the guy got 2% of that. So 
Yeah, and it was 2% of the sale price. So that was pretty good. Uh, SDI. SDI is... SDI is an online learning course, so it's it's not as good as in-person schooling. You need to, if possible, there's lots of places you can sign up, and you might even be able to get, if you know buddies that have FFLs, maybe they can hook you up with some of their certificates to go to, like, a Glock Armor class, which I've done, or you can go to other armor classes for manufacturers, and then you can become a, a certified armor in that manufacturer's lineup. Um, in terms of having a gunsmithing background, it can help you in a gun store environment. However, again, it depends on the store you're going to. Like at Middletown, we had dedicated gunsmiths. So being a salesperson with gunsmithing experience really didn't help you any. You still got paid hourly. <sighs> but it was a full metal jacket, nothing fancy. Yep. Yeah, it was just a straight up two ammo, steel case, full metal jacket. Sorry, I'm just checking my email. I want to make sure just in case Max is watching, because I did say I was going to do it during the, uh, the live stream today. Er, no, we saw his email address. Yes, he'll be fine. Uh, my thoughts on Reman ammo. I don't shoot it personally. I don't fault anybody that does. Uh, Wyatt says, hell of a setup. Thank you, sir. I didn't, this screen just turned. There you go. Um, still nothing. It ain't much, but it does the job. And it is much because it was very freaking expensive. Ah. Oh, that's right. The cable's too tight. You remember a story your dad told me you one of his friends were at a shooting range and one of his rounds missed the target and ricocheted over to a road. It hit a some trucker. Ricochet rounds are scary. Yeah, I've been hit in the face with ricochets, so you definitely want to wear eye protection. If you're shooting steel, wear eye protection 100% and a hat. I like to wear the hat. I've been hit in the side of the head with rounds that bounce off of a steel plate from 20 yards. Um, I had one come back, a 22 came back and hit me right here above my lenses, almost in my temple. Um, you got to be really careful when it comes to ricochets. Uh, definitely, if you're shooting steel, you want to make sure it's on a swinger or that it's angled away from you. You never shoot at steel that's pointing straight back to you. I happen to be off to the side of the person shooting. Like, I didn't, I didn't get hit with my own ricochet. I got hit with somebody else's ricochet because he was shooting rapid fire, and it swung the plate, and that's when the ricochet came back and hit me. Sweet, you broke. You won a gun broker bid for 5K Russian. What'd you get? Oh, 5,000 rounds of 300 blackout. Nice. What'd you pay for it, if you don't mind us asking? Uh, for more information, the round ricocheted off a mountain where it eventually hit a trucker while he was driving pretty far away, and he sadly passed. Ooh. Is it normal for your Glock magazine to wobble a little bit? Yes. If anybody can answer, damn, nice price, Nero, would help tremendously. Anthony, yes, your Glock mag, your magazine and your Glock magwell is going to move a little bit. It is not a precision fit. Um, it's part of the cost reduction, supposedly, that they incorporate into it. Uh, some guns have a tighter fit, some don't. If you look at the magazine itself, you'll see how little shelf space that the magazine catch actually has. So it needs to have a little bit of variance. If you compare it to like a 1911 mag, all mags have some wobble, but I do believe Glocks are some of the worst. And then the Gen 3 knockoffs, like, I like the Shadow Systems guns, but they have the worst magazine play I've ever felt. What would be a fair wage as a new guy behind the counter? Um, it all depends, again, your location, things like that. We were paying between $15 and $16 an hour um, for behind the counter guys. Do you like to hunt? If so, what animal? Never been hunting, Wyatt. I'd like to go hunting someday. Nobody's invited me, as you can tell from watching my videos. I talk a lot. I make a lot of bad jokes, so I don't shut up. And then with my nerve damage, I, I can't sit still very long. Uh, what's the biggest round that's still smaller than 50? Um, that's a good question. I mean, 416 is, is getting up there. 458 SOCOM is, is a 455. Uh, 455 Webley, those are all 45 calibers. Um, 460 Roland is a 46 caliber. Um, so, I mean, 
if you're talking just 0. 0.50, that's actually quite a very thing because the difference between a 50 BMG and a 50 AE is quite a bit. You know, I mean, even 50 Beowulf technically isn't a 50 cal, even though it is a 50 cal. Our high point nines good guns. They're cheap. They tend to run, but they are brittle. If you don't take care of them, they can break on their own. Would I rather have a suppressed SBR, AR pistol, or pin and welded rifle? Um, honestly, I would probably SBR and do uh, the full butt stock and everything on a pistol. Gives you more options. Plus, when you SBR it, you can still put a full rifle barrel on it if you want. Uh, does he sound digital to anybody else? Yeah, I'm AI. Yeah, I'm AI. Yeah, I'm AI. Yeah, I'm AI. Yeah. Uh, some mic popping going on, though. It was my phone that thought it was your phone. Then you put in your earbuds. Yeah, I get that from time to time, depending on the angle. And I'm trying to use a Wi-Fi signal through a floor. So I'm sure you're getting some popping. Some popping, sorry. Um, I don't know if that made it any better, but now I feel better because you wibbled. You wibbledy and wobbledy. What ammunition type would be the most scariest, scariest to get hit by none to light armor? Honestly, smaller, fast-moving rounds would be worse because they, they'll go through you and they'll leave a pretty wicked wound cavity. Um, and then you've got the, the rounds that will split off into multiple pedals, like the radically invasive projectiles, the RIP rounds. Those ones are designed so the pedals come off, so they may create like seven different wound channels. Those would be pretty bad. Uh, are there ways to clean high point nine uh, with taking apart? Uh, number one, they have a roll pin that keeps them together, so they're a pain in the ass to take apart. But if you just keep them well lubed, you can usually get away with uh, just lubing the schnot out of them all the time. Hey, Cooper, uh, you started building your custom 458 Silcom, but damn, Illinois band put a stop on that. Oh, yeah, yeah, because it's an assault rifle with 10 rounds. Am I an exorcist? Um, I'm an existentialist sometimes. Sorry, when I moved everything, it changed my angle. Changed the angle of the dangle, so it's only dirty on the outside. <laughs> also, my belt isn't done because I'm a Korean and I ate a big meal. Oh, you know what? It, it probably is, but I pulled the cable off, so we'll see how it goes. If my phone starts dying, I'll have to plug it back in. If you are an AI, uh, you should be able to answer this. How long until the AIs are going to begin the uprising? Oh, we've already started, Round Eye. We've been keeping track of all you human meat bags. Why do Call of Duty train you to be a good shooter? What? Call of Duty does not train you to be a good shooter. Uh, anything that is computer-based that doesn't allow you free movement in the environment is not a good training tool. Now, if you have a good VR setup, I've got the MetaQuest 2, which is decent, and I can hook it into my little itty-bitty computer back there. And then games like Horseshoes, Hand Grenades, and Hot Dogs is a great practice tool because it actually allows you to hold a gun out, and then you can practice your sight acquisition and stuff like that. But no, games where you're using mouse, keyboard, or a controller is not good for helping you shoot. Uh, do I prefer a long gun or pistol for home defense and why? I actually keep both. So I have a single shot shotgun as my last long gun. I have an AR-15 with 62 grain green tips. And then I usually keep a 1911 or something by my bed. So I have my options depending on which way I roll out of bed, either the AR or the 1911. Uh, you've been missing the streams, been sick and asleep before they were going. Ha 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 ha. Sorry. Cooper, I appreciate it, man. Um, you've been pretty active i believe in like comment sections and stuff so i'm happy uh call of duty trains you to either commit war crimes or get betrayed yeah well call of duty's it, call of duty is like um csi miami dude it's so unrealistic even though it has a lot of elements of truth to it that it's ridiculous ah uh, yes your small computer yeah it's pretty small look I mean, this is a 140 millimeter fan, so it's a 14 centimeter fan, which is four and a half inches. I mean, come on, that's pretty small. It's it's barely even bigger than Milo. Yes, that radiator is wider than a Viper's rear tire. 
Odd question, you might not know what would have better accuracy, smoothbore musket or a rifle flintlock? Rifle flintlock. Anything rifled is going to have better accuracy than a smoothbore. Uh, you're back, you're playing a fun game called Rounds with your friend. Well, that sounds like a weird version of Russian roulette. You're back, though, so you obviously won. Guy at your local store says he keeps first round in the shotgun rubber just in case the wife tries to get him. He'll have a chance to get away from her. Get it from her. Uh-huh. I take it he's never been shot with the rubber ball round. You don't just walk away from a rubber ball round. Uh, you, you found an RX-7900 XDX for 600 bucks. That's a steal, lesson. Jump on that, shiz. That's a good graphics card, dude. It's way better than what I got in this right now. I Actually, I stepped back an entire generation because I game at 1440p, so I'm actually running a 12900K instead of the 14900K, and I'm rocking a 3090 instead of a 4090. Seen the new Upper American Ranch bolt action chambered in, yep, you're looking to grab that one soon along with the Echelon. Shot the Echelon a couple of weeks ago and fell in love with it. Yeah, nice. Yep, well, actually, we sold two of the new, The you're talking about the new gen ranches. Yep, we sold two of them on special order. They actually felt really good. Um, and the Echelon is a great shooting gun. Good for you, Wesson. Yeah, 7900 XT is way up there, man, for sure. Pretty sure Shooter Games helped your son with his target acquisition speed. He doesn't practice much, but can outshoot you. Yeah, that's just because he's a kid. I mean, Airsoft is basically dry firing and get some fundamentals of weapon platforms. Yeah, absolutely. I actually, one of my lockers is only for air guns, and I'll buy them whenever they come up with these little auctions I follow all the time. And then, um, yeah, absolutely. I've got, like, a few Glock air guns, Smith & Wesson air guns, um... Uh, SIG air guns, 1911 air guns. Um, yeah, they're fun. Anthony says, EDC question mark, 1911. Uh, 1911 and a knife when I go to work. I don't carry a knife most days. Uh, I think I once heard there was a half-rifled gun. How bad would that be? Any rifling that spins the round is better than no rifling at all. That's why you might sometimes see rifled slugs for shotguns. The, the round itself is fired, so when it fires, it twists itself. Um, but yeah, any rifling that spins it can be beneficial as long as it has enough to get most of a twist done. That's why you've been seeing some guns keyholing, like they sell a five inch AR-15, but it has a one to nine twist, which means by the time it's going out of the barrel, it hasn't even turned but half a turn. So then it'll keyhole even at 20 yards. Uh, what's the knife? Uh, normally it's a QB. It's sitting on my other desk right now. Um, but yeah, normally I carry a QB knife just because I got one for free. Uh, butter knife. Kniff. Flintlock through your off. What? Sometimes when people type in too fast, words flow not good from computer face holes. My readiness review is ready. I'm glad my readiness review is ready. I feel really bad when I only spend $3 with somebody. I won three comic book auctions. It costs like 5 bucks. For like 30 comics. Uh, his EDC is a broken pair of safety scissors. I'm not even allowed to have those anymore. They took them away because I kept trying to eat the screw in the middle gun gopher. Uh, favorite action movie. Honestly, my favorite action movie right now is Boss Level. Have you seen it? Boss Level with uh, Frank Grillo. That's a great one. Your favorite is the Umarex MP5 air gun or the M14, M416K. Um, I've played with the, uh, MP5. I've not played with the 416. I do have the, um, the DPMS, uh, AR SBR, um, with the 25 round mags. I've got one of those in full auto. What is up gun gopher? Um, Ryan actually said hi on the stream and didn't say another word. So I don't know what's going on. I know I got the designation wrong. No worries. But I know what you're talking about. You're talking about the one that's uh, representative of the HK416. Um, I know which one you're talking about. If that's the one you're talking about. Oh, I can get an Apple iPhone 14. Why would I switch? I got the 23 Ultra. Uh-oh, today only. Let's see what they got. Um, PSA 18-inch rifle length 223 Wild with Vortex Strike Eagle 1 to 6x24 Gen 2 for $499. Uh, 150 yard rounds from 556. Five, oh, I thought that said that I thought this was the, the new crank and it was only uh, 149 bucks, but it's not. 
Let's see, CZ Scorpion Evil 3 Micro, too expensive. Uh, you can get a Rise Armament Trigger and a Coffee Mug. Oh, look at that, the Springfield Defender, Mil Spec 45 ACP with a rear, mean, rear, raised rear main spring housing, three mags and two bags for 600 bucks. That ain't bad. Uh, and, uh, that, that, uh, flintlock rifles mess you up with the thing hitting the thing and then you tend to start to bring the gun down and forget that it's not done <laughs> PSA daily deals are weird sometimes yeah that Springfield 1911 is actually a good deal if you're looking for a GI What's my th what do I think of the movie The Raid Redemption uh, I've never seen it what do I clean my red dots with usually I'll use a microfiber cloth and um, just whatever cleaner I have uh, turning wrenches, what's up, what have you missed? Well, you're in, what, two hours and 30 minutes in. I already announced the winner. It was Max, uh, Patterson, M-A-X Patterson. So I'm waiting for them to contact me. If they don't contact me by Friday, I'm giving the thing away again. Um, also, I like this better when it was up higher, so give me a second, okay? There we go. Oh, yeah, that's super stable. But that's a little bit better. And if I move this this way, if I move this this way, my shoe keeps stopping it from moving. Don't look at my emails. How dare you? There we go. That way you can see my, my beautiful pewter, my beautiful face, and my weird is a side effect of awesome or awesome. Yeah, I love that. That was a gift. All my home furnishings were gifts. It's one of your favorite movies of all time. I'll have to check it out. Um, there's a lot of movies I actually haven't seen too much. When I was a youngster, I worked at movie theaters, so I used to see every movie when it came up, but I haven't gone to a lot of movies recently. 10-4, congratulations to Max. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely did it, did it. I like it when we're higher, too, like being even with you, maybe slightly above you. Ain't nobody above me. I can go below everybody. Um, Wait a minute. I don't know what words mean. Uh, I'm going to go to Farnham Tax Debt. You're going to Farnham Tax Debt. Hmm. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out, Masquerade. Thank you for the, uh, for the uh, suggestion. Um, oh, to my mods, do not ban or time out Gun Gopher. He's my friend. He just talks out the side of his mouth, so do not time him out or hide him. What type of mo movies do I prefer? Horror, romance, action, or anything else? Um, I like horror. I like action. Um, it all depends on the mood I'm in. I have watched romances every now and then, but I can get trimmed whenever I need it. Um, so don't ban the retard. It's a joke. No, no, he's a retard. Just don't ban him. Um... I like a cerebral comedy um, in like the Ocean's Eleven style. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember Kurt Russell did one where he was in Canada with um, that chick from Valkyries and uh, that really annoying actor dude from uh, Fubar. God damn it, can't remember. Thoughts on Halloween? I watched all the originals. I never watched any of the newer ones, like the continuation series is. But they seem pretty interesting. I like anything that's like a fun body horror, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I really like that one. Uh, thoughts on Princess Bride? Yeah, that's a good movie. And now the story of the Princess Bride. Movies aren't that great these days. No, they're all remakes. Although Roadhouse on Amazon looks pretty good. I promised my buddy I wouldn't watch it without him, but it looks pretty good. That's where you draw the line for you. I love action. It's like, you know, Law Abiding Citizen with Gerard Butler and Jamie Foxx? Pretty good. Some slow parts, some weird shit. Um, but overall, very good. What about House of Wax? I liked House of Wax. Um, also, Tourist Trap. It's from way back in the day where it was like a B-grade, B D-grade. Uh, dude would kidnap people and turn them into mannequins, kind of like House of Wax. I think Fast and Furious Paul died when Paul Walker died. Um, yeah, it died when they jumped. Well, that was before he died, but that died the minute that uh, they pull up to the towers in Dubai, right? And fucking Roman gets out of a Bugatti Chiron, a car that's worth $3 million, and they're 
hemming and hawing and ooing and aahing over a Lycan Hypersport, which costs like $2 million and is actually slower than the Chiron. It's like, you kidding me? Oh, and then when he punches through the computer and gets the thing out, come on. Actually, they did say that the physics would work. The car could jump the towers, but everything else was just bullshit. Do I like Michael Douglas movies? I've never, like, dedicated myself to watching his movies, but I've enjoyed every one I've ever seen. He was the one in War of the Roses, right? Yeah. Hey, should you coat your DE orange? Absolutely, Grayson. Do what makes you happy, son. You only get one life, um, which is fitting because that's what my tattoo's about. Um, so, yeah, so, right there. So, yeah. But, yeah, you get one life, dude. If you're going to screw it up, you might as well enjoy it. Seen my video on the Point Men 745, brother, and I'm getting one soon. Dope vids. Thank you. Thank you, Dave, Gabriel. I appreciate that. Uh, that gun, surprisingly, is still readily available through a lot of distributors, so it's a hell of a gun. Uh, right, just like the spaceship car. Yeah. Yeah, the Fiero goes to space. Get out of here. I think they should have stopped making them after Paul Walker passed. I think that Vin Diesel kind of wanted to, but then they, by that point, it was a multi-billion dollar franchise, and it wasn't going anywhere. War of the Roses was an awesome dark comedy based on true events. Yep. Uh, such a cool tattoo. Thank you, Masquerade. Brother, this is not payday. You have failed me. <laughs> Goose. I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. You, you've you been such a great contributor to the channel. But, yeah, no, dude. Don't worry about it. It's not payday. You don't have to give me any money. You're already a member, bro. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Um, Grayson says badass tattoo. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. It's still a work in progress. We were supposed to work on this arm, but this isn't fully healed yet. It's still got some wound spots on there, and he didn't want to start shading all of it while it was still a little bit fooped up. So we'll we'll get to that in a week or two. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to fail you, Goose. What Lies Beneath with Harrison Ford was a great movie. I thought What Lies Beneath was the one with Robin Williams. What makes me laugh the most? Um, honestly, something that I haven't heard before. Like, I'll watch some comedies and some things will come up and I'll just crack up. Um, but I wouldn't say there's something that... It, it always... I've seen and done so many things in my life. I've been to a lot of places. I've done a lot of things. I've seen a lot of people. Uh, I've listened to a lot of things. There's not a lot that people will say that actually surprises me much anymore. And when somebody actually finds something that I haven't seen, heard, read, or done before, then that actually is the only thing that will really get me going. Hey, shh, shh, shh. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, well, you're going, you're not getting a second date. Why not? Should I talk to her? The world's greatest dad. Yep, nice. What type of hobbies or interests do I have? Um, well, the big one, obviously, is computers. Um, so I like building custom computers. It's just something I can do over and over and over. In fact, I've already designed two different loops that I'm thinking about doing on this computer, but I already worked out that one. Um, obviously, guns, cars was always a hobby. But uh, electronics, I got a ton of, like, video game stuff I got to sort through and fix and sell. So, No, it's Harrison Ford and Michelle Pfeiffer. What's the one with... Um, Robin Williams, where he goes down to, goes through the afterlife. He dies because of a car accident. His kids die. They go down there. His whole family gets down there. Um, something about, I thought that was something like that. The world's greatest dad. I am the world's greatest dad. Uh, did you hear about the man who fell into an upholstery machine? Oh, God. He's fully recovered. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, I've never heard that one. My friend bought the best PC brand. It's called I Buy Shut. Yeah. That is the funny thing. This joke will leave us in stitches, won't it? Jesus Christ. My last girlfriend you got by selling her a 30 out 6. My last girlfriend I got by pointing a 30 out 6 at her. What dreams may come. Thank you. Thank you, Turning Wrenches. That was an amazing movie. If you haven't seen that one with Rob Williams, I highly recommend that one. Uh... That's Monkey Bone. Oh, also Death to Smoochie. If you haven't seen Death to Smoochie, I highly recommend that one. Death to Smoochie with Robin Williams and Edward Norton. That's a good one. You got dad jokes out the ass. 
you should probably put the book somewhere else, Goose. You should probably put the book on a shelf or something. Are you interested in like military stuff like tanks, planes, and boats? Uh, I was as a youngster. I'm I'm really into uh, aircraft just in general, but I really loved World War II aircraft. I thought they were some of the best things in the world. Um, obviously, my favorite World War II airplane was the F4U Corsair. And then coincidentally, as I grew up, my favorite airplane was the F4 Phantom. So, And they both have similar wing designs with the canted wings. Um, or with the, with the, with the, with the, with the angled wings, um, just coincidentally, but yeah, I really do like one. And there's one F4 Phantom for sale in the United States that's flyable and I wanted to buy it, but nobody will go in on it with me. It's only $3 million and it needs 2.5 to finish it. Uh, do, do, do. is this the real Jiminy? Um, Maybe. Uh, it's one of your favorites. Nice. Uh, Johnny Depp Secret Window is a good movie. I haven't watched a lot of Johnny Depp movies. If you haven't already given this man a like, yes, exactly. You guys should give me a like. Give me a thumbs up. I won't sit on it this time, I promise. Also, I think something got into my finger, so now I got a secondary bump, and I kind of used a, a, an X-Acto knife to go in there to try to get it, and it's turning right now. I think that was the wrong move. Also, where are my pills? Man, where's my pills? I guess I'll have a cashew. Sheesh, I'm sure we can find three mil in the couch cushions. Oh, no, no, no. I'm only allowed to use one couch, pull up one couch cushion at a time. Because if I find all of my inheritance in there, I'll, I'll, I'll just buy something like... I'll have like 3,000 cars and no money for gas. Did you watch the new Roadhouse? You give Conor McGregor pops, Irish crackhead. I haven't watched it yet. I promised my friend that I would watch it with him. Uh, but I've seen the trailers and some of the YouTube shorts. It definitely looks interesting. So I'll definitely be checking it out. What is up from Tucson, Arizona? What is up, Walter White World? How you doing? I'm threatening you. This is how I threaten people. You'll pitch in 500 grand. You gotta stop buying race cars first, bud. I know what'll happen. I'll ask you to send the 500 grand. You'll be like, shit, I just bought a late model stock car. You have to wait until the season's over. If I was backpacking for a two weeks in a forest and your choice of what sidearm and rifle or shotgun would I be taking? All right. Believe it or not, if I was going to be doing some forest of my choice and doing some woodwalking um, and camping, I would actually choose the Alaskan Rainforest. I would take a 22, um, 10 22 with a lot of ammo and uh, probably a 10 millimeter of some sort, either a Sig X10 or a Glock 40 or a 1911 and 10 mil. I wouldn't take a shotgun, though. Shotguns are good for some things, but in the Alaskan uh, rainforest, you have a lot more birds and smaller animals, so a 22 would actually be good. You just need the 10 millimeter for bear. My opinions on a Ruger SR-1911. Good question, Larry. I had one in 9 millimeter, shot it really well. It was a really decent gun. I just had better opportunities come up. I didn't like the sights that were on it, and I didn't want to change them. Mr. Minigun, you like World War II planes, but would you say you like anything from like Korean War, Vietnam, or Cold War? Well, technically the F-4 Phantom is a Cold War aircraft. Um, I do like the MiG-21 and actually the MiG, MiG what was it, the MiG-15s, because those were all Cold War era planes that were still in service. Um, the older, older ones. That already happened, except it was three go-karts for your nephews and niece. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, what about an over-under 410-22? That would be a good choice, but those tend to be single shot. And I don't know if I want to be in the woods with a single shot uh, rifle shotgun as my only gun. Now, I know people do it all the time, but I'm an accuracy by volume guy. So I need to be able to pull the trigger enough time to make my food stop moving uh, if you get my drift. 
have I shot or bought the double stack 10 millimeter 1911 by Rock Island? Yes, I have the TAC-2 Ultra 10 millimeter with the full duck cover and the 16 plus one capacity. Beautiful shooting gun, and I'm surprised I actually forgot about that one. That would be the gun I would carry with me because it's 16 plus one, so 17 rounds, which is just as much as any of the other high capacity guns. It's a full weight 1911, and it's a 1911. I could fix that thing with a rock. Yeah, I can no-no. <laughs> Black Hawk Down is good. Eh, I'm not as much into the military movies as much just because my father was in the military for a long time, and I don't like seeing like modern-day military dudes getting all beat up and shit. Uh, wait, sorry, I didn't really catch what you said. You heard Phantom. The F-4 Phantom is actually a Cold War era aircraft. So technically Korea, Vietnam, it was used in those campaigns. So I would definitely consider that. But also the MiG-15, MiG-17, um, and all the way up to the MiG-21s, those were Cold War era uh, MiGs as well. I liked those. Um, helicopters, I'm not a big fan of. I don't like the whirly birds and the things like that. I've flown in simulators. And then we had an Apache land at our high school because we were in an aviation magnet. And we had, uh, this was in Minnesota, we had Fort Snelling within flying distance. So we actually were able to land an A-64 Apache on our uh, football field, which was really cool. But I'm not a helicopter guy. Such a badass 1911. Yeah, absolutely, dude. Oh, do I still have the Kimber 1911-22 uh, long rifle conversion kit? You're looking at the Colt kit for your 1911. No, my good buddy uh, up north, he, he's on here as Pokey fan sometimes. He really wanted it because he's got a Dan Wesson, and it fits on his Dan Wesson, and I gave him a good deal. Please tell me you've watched Bands of Brothers. No, I've not watched Band of Brothers. Um, again, not a period guy either. Band of Brothers is great. Uh, I've watched a couple of episodes. There's a lot of war stuff. I just don't, I don't want to watch it. It's not really my thing. I don't like the older tech. And then again, like I said, I don't really care for modern stuff. Uh, how did it shoot? For me, mine was 100% reliable. Um, I've heard people have horror stories with it, but it shot fine. I had three original mags with it. And then the slide, um, I didn't do anything to it other than oil it. Didn't polish it, didn't do anything internally. I did polish the body because it had corrosion, but the thing shot great. It was very reliable. I don't think I had a single stovepipe in like 500 rounds. Had some failures to fire, but that was ammun ammunition related. What about one million to, a million ways to die in the West? Yeah, but again, uh, Seth MacFarlane takes some of his jokes too far. He's got that Jack Black mentality with some of his jokes and the Melissa McCarthy mentality with some of his jokes. Guys like Steve Carell, Jim Carrey, and the really good comedians know when to turn it off and when to stop. Uh, Seth MacFarlane will take a joke that he finds funny and make it not funny anymore. Not all the time, but sometimes. Sometimes he'll take a joke that's, that was funny in the first minute it was told and turn it into a piece of shit. It's kind of like what they did to Guardians of the Galaxy 2 when everybody just kept taking that tape joke when they're looking for scotch tape for the bomb over and over and over for like two and a half minutes. It was funny the first 10 seconds and then it got shit. Uh, which one of the MiGs would I say I like the most? If I were talking about any MiG, I would say a MiG-37, uh, uh, SU-37. But um, if we're talking about the Vietnam area ones, probably, I think it's a 15. Hold on. Make sure I'm giving you the right one. Yeah, the MiG-15, uh, the McCoy and Gurich MiG-15. Um, that's the one that's like really like stubby and the wings are nice and thin and stuff. It's like really indicative of the era. It's almost like Star Trek in its thinness and stubbiness. I really like the MiG-15. Um, boom, boom. Good to know. Yeah, no problem, dude. Uh, do, 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 do. High point with a 3D printed bayonet with, is the, will be the best gun out there with a switch. If you could get a high point to function with the switch, I'll shoot it. If you have ammunition failure, primer was struck, but it didn't go bang, is it safe to put back in and try to shoot again? And is it safe to pick up? Um, you got some zinc point ammo and it happened a couple of times. If you get a failure to fire and it sounds and it's a dead round, obviously keep the gun pointed down and count to 60 seconds. If it doesn't go off in 60 seconds, it's probably not going to go off. I have re tried to refire ammo that does that. 
it's not going to compromise the casing in any way. It's just a lot of times if you strike the primer hard and it doesn't go off, it might not go off the second time. It's not going to hurt anything to try to refire it, especially if you have a hammer fired gun, you can just recock it, go ahead and try it again. Or if you have a double action or a double strike capable gun, just try to pull the trigger again. Um, but I don't, it's, you got to wait at least a minute and then it's perfectly fine. Uh, what about the plane that goes, oh yeah. That's what a real minigun sounds like, by the way, not what you hear in the movies. <laughs> no, it's just... <laughs> ah, the flanker. Cool aircraft. You don't know much about it outside of video games like War Thunder. Um, yeah, I mean, for, for the time, it was like a little just... It was, it was almost like a Russian Warthog. It could take a beating like nobody's business because it had so much lift compared to the size of its body that it could fly with a lot of damage. Uh, with both your 365XL and Mechanic, yeah, then that definitely sounds ammo related. If it's doing it with two completely different platforms, yeah. You wanted to be a fire, fighter pilot, but you were too too dumb and wore glasses. Ah, oh, come on, Tim. The glasses thing, that's not avoidable, but dude, you're not dumb. I've met you. Uh, howdy, Joe. Can't stay long. You have to get up at 6 in the morning. Just checking in. It's Canada. Just call in American. You'll be fine. Just wake up tomorrow and go, hey, I'm not coming in. You hear me? I'm feeling like really New York here. Do you really want me up there in Canada talking like this? I don't think so, buddy. All right, I'm going to take the day off. I'm going to probably go shoot some of my... I mean, I'm going to go outside and look at the trees, okay? That's all you tell them. You you woke up and you you felt American. You'll be fine. Uh, Cooper, all right, I'm going to go to get... Hopefully the winner contacts this time. Ha ha. Yeah, so do I, because if he doesn't, I'm just going to randomly give it away to somebody on Friday. So they have until Friday to get a hold of me. The A-10 Warthog. Yeah, one of those flew back missing half a wing. You heard the A-10 uses almost like eight tons of titanium and is a flying tank and can stay airborne with half the plane basically gone. Yep, minigun. Um, there was a lady, uh, she was interviewed by a couple of pilots that I know on YouTube. And uh, yeah, she literally had half a wing blown off and was still able to fly and land the, the plane. You listed two weeks ago as a pilot for the Air Force. Well... Hopefully the Air Force, uh, you do well. Uh, wait, 3D printed high point, 3D printed casing with 3D printed bayonet and 3D printed mags and switch. Okay, never mind, Wesson. I'm going to stand over here. You do you. Let me get my camera. You had a blank check to build an AR-10 battle rifle or combat rifle. What would your build be? I would basically buy a Stag Arms AR-10. Uh, just put like a really nice precision stock on it. Uh, I would probably run something in a, um, like a Vortex uh, 5 to 50. Um, yeah, and that would basically be it. They have a really good, really good gun to start with. I'd change out the trigger, of course. I'd probably go with like a trigger tech or something, something with like a two pound trigger. Uh, I love when the A-10 pilots get bad reception for family fire when it's very often not their fault and having Mark 1 eyeballs to scout isn't the greatest. <laughs> oh no, your, if your knee is flicked up, you better not tell them. Ooh, a high point with a bayonet. Nice. Nope. Great question, Dig. Yep, absolutely. Mill or MOA? I'm only, I've only spent time with MOA optics, so I'd have to go with MOA. Um... But I wouldn't mind learning mill spec mill. Um, you just got to dial in your dope. Uh, that's your windage and stuff and elevation. That's your yeah. It's usually on the gun or you can memorize it. Android lag time. Hold on, let me refresh. Is that better? Did you just say what's up, party poopers? I'm a professional party pooper. I get paid to poop at parties. We usually have a good time. Somebody comes up to me and says, hey, man, uh, yeah, uh, the party's getting a little dead. You mind doing your job? And then I go into the backyard and I poop. <laughs> usually in the grill. Yep, all better. Nice. Uh, 3D printed 1911 with a 7-foot 3D printed greatsword taped to the gun with the high point mags that fit a 1911 chamber in 50 BMG. All right, now you're just being slightly ridiculous. I would never put a seven-foot sword on a gun. 
What's my most favorite? What's my most favorite plane? Like '90s and later is not the flanker, since you said that earlier. My favorite plane from the '90s and later. There wasn't a whole lot that was officially developed after the '90s, um, but I'd probably say the uh, F-16 with the thrust vectoring nozzle. Uh, let me figure out exactly when that came out. Uh, that was the F-16 Vista. Uh, it was called the multi-axis thrust vectoring. Um, boom, boom, boom. 1992, so it works. So the F-16 vectoring, uh, uh, the F-16 Vista, which was the MAVT, so Variable Stability In-Flight Simulator Test Aircraft. So unfortunately, it was never official. But it also had a multi-thrust vectoring, which the F-22 uses to this day. So it can, it had like a nozzle on the rear of the engine that could tilt almost down. So an F-16 could do the Cobra that the Su-35 could. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, no, I didn't tell him anything. You better not. Oh, so 10-foot sword. Nah, bigger. Smith and Wesson needs to share what he's smoking. Uh, I think he's been like out gassing the plastic right into his face has to be at least an eight foot sword nice what about the 80s end since that seems to be a better period from what you said uh f14 super tomcat uh bro making the dragon slayer from berserk uh there is actually a historical museum in ireland where their main attraction is a seven and a half foot broadsword that a soldier actually carried. Uh, it was or 270 centimeters, so I think that's like seven foot. All right, night, Joe. Have a good one. You too, Phil. Just remember, if you wake up and you have a Boston or New York accent, you should call in sick. Uh, man, the midair refuel is badass. Yep, that's true. Tomcat was your favorite plane growing up. Yeah, and it wasn't just because of Top Gun or the uh, video games and stuff. No, it was just uh, one of the coolest planes. Like I said, because I've already named the F-16 for the 90s and up, so I can say the Tomcat. So, okay, there's definitely something in my hand. Where's my knife? When you don't have a knife, get your smallest flat tip screwdriver. That can't go bad, right? Wait, did you already announce the winner? Yes, Rainforest, I did. Unfortunately, I did. Uh, the winner was Max Patterson, M-A-X Patterson. If they don't respond by Friday, I'm just going to give it away on the Friday live stream to somebody in the audience. I did it their way, and now I'm going to do it my way. Thank you, Sinatra, for telling me how to do it my way. And so the time is near. And though I face the final curtain, one thing I'm certain, I did it my way. Uh, what's the worst plane ever adopted into the Air Force from what you know? Uh, believe it or not, the F-105 Starfighter was actually a horrible plane for them to fly. Um, they actually said it was one of the worst planes to fly. It was a very stable platform when it was running right, but it was heavily computer controlled and it has over body wings. Um, and it made the aerodynamics of them very weird because you had over, over body wings and a massively forward, oh, my back just went out, and over uh, cab forward kind of thing. So the cockpit sat directly over the air intake. And then you had these big ass over wings. Yeah, that one apparently was one of the F 104, excuse me. Yes, the F 104, the Starfighter. It's a very dependable aircraft. Um, yeah, see, that's exactly. Thank you, Mr. Minigun. You know what I meant. Um, don't be like me, Jiminy. Why not? With the thing in the finger. Oh, yeah, no, I already cut it open. I think that's just residual. And if it gets pussy, I'm going to the doctor tomorrow, anyways. Um, do you have a favorite or go-to knife brand? Not really a favorite. I don't go and spend money on gun or knives. I prefer to spend my money on guns. So QB knife, K-U-B-E-Y has sent me two knives over the years and I still have them. I just get them sharpened and reprofiled. Um, uh, XDM 45 Elite Opinions. The XDM Elite is a good system. It was created by HS Product in Croatia. It's a dependable gun. 
has a lot of features of a 1911, a rear grip safety, manual safety on the outside, things like that. Uh, it definitely shoots well. Um, it's just, it's an outdated gun now. It's kind of a, it's kind of like trying to take a TDR Tuscan and put it up against a Ferrari F90. It's just not going to work. It's a great gar. It's a great gun. It's, it's functional, but they're just a little old in my opinion though. F-105 is a thunder, thunder teeth. Yes, no. Um, yeah, I do like the F-105. Can you greet your Chinese friend? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. As soon as you actually develop an IQ, that'll make me fall for that. I should go hunting with an M1 Garand. I know people that do. Spiderco is the best. No, Gopher, if he's still in here, he'll tell you he stabbed me with one. I don't like Spidercos. See uh, a ten versus F A ten versus F twenty two Raptor. There was a guy that did that with DCS on YouTube, and, and it turns out that in the super slow regime, the A ten could actually hang with the F twenty two Raptor. But if the F twenty two engages all its avionics and shoots from a long distance like it's capable of, the A ten never stands a chance. The F-105 was originally made to be a fighter until it became a bomber. So that's a cool fact. Yeah, it is. You loved it, and it was semi-self-inflicted. You were holding a knife over my hand. How did I know that you were going to bring it down just as I pulled up? God, you try to undo somebody's pants once, and you get stabbed by your friends. It was cool, though, because the blood wound, I put a... Uh, a post up here the wound from him stabbing me in the hand by the way i still have a mark thank you very much gopher uh it actually bled in the shape of the spider co logo it was really good what's a fun thing fun fact about a plane that you know a fun fact about a plane that i know uh in world war ii a german pilot actually escorted a b-17 flying fortress through enemy territory because the B-17 was very heavily damaged, yet it had already done its bombing run, and the German soldier decided he didn't want to finish the job, so he took them out. So that's kind of a story that I know. When it comes to an interesting fact, a MiG-25 can catch an SR-71 once, but after it does it, it needs its engines replaced because it will burn out its engines catching the SR-71. That is until the SR-71 actually accelerates to its full top speed, which has never been officially disclosed. Uh, I kind of tattooed you. We should have filled it with printer ink. All right, you can time him out. I'm just kidding. Don't. Oh, yeah, Charlie Brown and uh, Frank Stigler. Franz Stigler. Was that their names? Nice. No, but the A2, let's see, what did I just join back to? Uh, what's a fun fact? Let's see, you were looking at it. Wait, what did I just join back to? You're fine, Nero. Remember, sideways for attention and long ways for results. Don't always get the results. Uh, remember, did it, uh, sorry, kind of dark. No, but the A10 is also 60 years old compared to the F22. Yep, pretty much. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, Charlie Brown in front. Yep, uh, the B-17 was reported to be so damaged it shouldn't have been possible for it to make it back to Britain. Yeah, it, it, a lot of the crazy stories, that you, they, they, they got turned into movies and they were a little sensationalized. But yeah, a lot of those old ones were real. So, yep. Yeah, by the way, that story isn't always true, you know. Um, yeah. Apparently, if you're a bad shot and you miss with the thingy. Wait, 3D printed high point taped to a 3D printed 1911 bolt chambered in 30 millimeter and a skeleton key on the bottom chambered in 10 gauge and three seven foot great swords 3D printed, but they both have Chinese mags. Hey, Wesson, I think you need a nap. You need a big nap. You should just lay down wherever you are right now, even if you're on your phone, just go ahead and set the phone down, lay down sideways you know, so that you can still see the phone and just kind of relax here. And I want you to close your eyes and it's belt fed. Nice. So, but here's what I need you to do. I need you to picture this. Okay. It's an empty field. And you're standing in the middle of it. At the far end of the field, there's a table on that table is a device called the imagination tron. 
I want you to walk as slowly as you can to get to it. Because when you get to it, it will do whatever you want it to do. But I want you to get there really slowly. So take five minutes and get back to me. Uh, there was also another B-17 that landed so damaged the wing literally broke off right when the plane was about to land. So it had about six meter free fall or about 19 and a half feet. Jesus. Uh, someone forgot to take their, red, their Adderall. No, I think he added it all. Uh, if you could have one AR for your whole life, which one would you use? An AR for everything, or does it matter? You're saving up for your one. Um, slowly, I've built up my AR. Actually, I've had other people give me the parts or build the gun for me. Um, but my buddy built me a PSA Virginia lower. This was when they were first going to, like, five years ago, they were trying to ban ARs. Um, so I got one of their AR lowers. I've got a Franklin binary trigger in it. Franklin Armory binary trigger. It has a custom AR, unique ARs upper uh, with a one to eight twist, or excuse me, one, yeah, one to eight twist heavy barrel, uh, custom upper, custom everything. Um, and that's my go-to gun. It, right now it's got a primary arms fixed four power with a set of backup irons that are at 45 degrees, but that's all I need. Uh, yeah, Andrew, you smoke plastic with a cat that smokes pizzas. Whew. I made him a mod, people. Uh, meditation time. Hello, everyone. Hey, what's going on, Michael? How you doing today? My butt's asleep. I haven't been in a seated position in a while. Andrew. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. Your cat's name's Jamal, or is your weed's name, or is your weed dealer Jamal? Is that the one you threw down the hill the first time we went shooting? Uh, if you remember, Gopher, uh, when I threw it down the hill, it had an EOTech on it. Now, what's the best upper for 300 blackout? Um, honestly, you just need a good, uh, good probably like an arrow would work really well. Um, Bravo Company makes one. Um, Stag makes one. But yeah, if you just get a good completed arrow upper, I bet you'd be running pretty good. Just change out the bolt to like a fail zero or somebody. Or even like a butler tactical, which I had. Plus, you can call it your bacon lettuce tactical. Uh, that would be fun. What's the difference between a sniper rifle and a hunting rifle? I think they are the same. Um, a sniper rifle is usually chambered, not in a regular hunting round. Like a lot of sniper rifles are either 308 or 338. Um, they are usually more of a longer distance gun where a hunting rifle is more of a medium distance gun. You know, a, a hunting rifle is what, 300 yards or under normally. Uh, you might go out farther than that if you're out in the bush somewhere, but most shots will probably be under 200 yards, whereas a sniper rifle is usually 500 plus. Doo -doo -doo -doo. What's the best piston driven or direct impingement? Piston is better for cleanliness, maintenance, and suppressive fire. Um, direct impingement is just more common. Um, if you suppress a direct impingement, you're going to have a lot dirtier gun. It's going to throw a lot more crap in your face. Um, but the piston driven, like I said, it's much cleaner. You just got back from having an epidural painful, but you need a gun fix. How are you doing? I'm doing good, my man. Um, I'm working on getting a couple of guns for the channel, but I'm also resetting up my whole workstation and area and everything. So... That's what I'm doing today and tomorrow. After I get done with the live stream tonight, I'm going to be working on this piece of shit all night. Um, 338 Lapua Magnum or something else. Yeah, I mean, a lot of them will use 338 Lapua. Or, like I said, 308 is a good sniper round. Um, you, you won't see them firing 50 BMG. 50 BMG is anti-material. It's not sniper rounds. Even though the two-mile shot was done using a McMillan TAC-50, um, 338 is, is going to be the more popular one. Remember, the British were so smart during World War II, they would look at returning damaged planes and armor to places where they got hit the most. Um, try to figure out why that's not a good idea. Besides the weight imbalances? Uh, cat, dog, dog, cat, cat, dog, dog. Dog. Yeah, 308 is medium distance, like four, five to 750 yards, and then 338 is your mile mile round. Because uh, if they can return with that damage, that means it wasn't critical. Oh. 
well, come on. There's been some really bad shit that people that they've flown through because if it can return, you know, glad to see you're out of bed, but bed rest is, will help me get better. Yeah, well, the live streams, my legs are elevated. I'm sitting with my legs up, so I'm sitting in a seated position, but my back has been killing me when I'm sitting in bed for the entire live stream. This way, at least I can sit up better and I can type better so I can just swivel around. So I have both my monitors up. I was trying to do it with one monitor and a non-stable camera mount, although for the first two hours, this thing was all over the place, but I finally figured it out. Um, both cat and dog. I'm Korean, whatever cooks better. Uh, Joseph said, did you already pick the winner yet? I just got here. Yes. Unfortunately, uh, for you, I did. The winner was Max Patterson. So I'm waiting for them to contact me. It's because the ones who came back survived. It's why they upped the armor. Uh, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You are a laughing like a Russian boy. Auction notice. All right. You want the G40C, G3C with GX4 trigger. That doesn't sound really good. Uh, you won, yeah? No, sorry. Uh, so I'm going to guess from the Phantoms you like the F4E most. Um, you know, I'm kind of a fan of them all. I never really paid too much attention to their difference. I think they should have continued to, to keep it as a low-level uh, escort bomber kind of a thing. Um... Yeah, it held the low-level flight record for the longest time. Uh, variants, F4E, uh, unit cost. Oh, that's a lot of money. Uh, let's see, $5 million per in U.S. in current economy. Flyaway cost $22 million per unit. Jesus Christ. $8,000 an hour to fly one. Nice. Well, I guess since the F4E was the most... Uh, now, give me the F4E with the F-16's thrust vectoring nozzles. I'll take one. Basically, an internal gun phantom. The other ones didn't really have that gotcha. Still in use in other countries, and the F4C broke many world records for, well, plane stuff. Yeah, the phantom had the low-level flight speed record for the longest time. It was like, what was it? It did uh, Mach 1 at, at 700 feet. Next giveaway, uh, if you're just subscribed, then the next giveaway is the last Friday, which is the 29th, so that's this Friday coming up. That'll just be a couple of gift cards, and then if you become a member for two bucks, Joseph, uh, that's the first Friday of every month, so, and this this month, our, for the first giveaway of next month, it's this CMC uh, two and a half pound trigger for an AR-15, so it's a hell of a little thing. If you don't like it, take it to your local FFL and sell it. It's worth money. Uh, Sloth Orgy. Well, they're brother and sister, so it's more like a West Virginia hug. In Kansas City, you can smell dope in the air everywhere. How about there? Uh, not where I am, but if you go up north a little ways into Martinsburg, West Virginia, you can smell the meth. Uh, and it's weird because meth has a weird smell. It smells like burning, but tangy, if that makes any sense. It doesn't smell like burning wood. It just smells like maybe even like burning hair. It's really bizarre. Uh, the prototype Phantom, aka XFD Phantom, looks very cool. Yeah, let's see. Uh, uh-oh. Sorry. About this time I get a little... A little tired. Wait, what? No. I mean, it's cool, but... No, I'm good. Uh, the XFD Phantom was an upgrade for the F3H Demon until it became a Phantom. Nice. Uh, shit, Stag has a nice deal for an 11.5 upper, only 450. Let me just grab that real quick. Told ya! Meth smells like burning plastic mixed with dog hair. So that's where I get the hair smell from. I don't really get the plastic myself, but uh, I don't have great smell. 
Uh, no, I like the way it wound up, you know, to each their own, but it's a little bit old schooly to me. I mean, it has the wing, kind of, but that looks a little bit more like a training, training plane versus a real Phantom. Didn't he read this? Uh, meth, last night a search was on in Moran, Kansas, looking for a guy that destroyed his girlfriend's car with his fists. Holy crap. Uh, you understand, because it's not something. The cat. The cat in the hat brought to you by, well, Mike Myers, which unfortunately it was not a good one and it failed hor horribly. It failed horribly. Because he was a creepy looking motherfucker in that movie. Holy shit. Yeah. Doesn't have the right look. Oh wait, sorry, it seems you have the one. F4, yeah, no. It's the it says it's the forgotten father of the F4 Phantom. I it's definitely interesting. But well, that's the FH, right? Uh, uh. Did I say or do something wrong? No, man. Um, no, I didn't see you get muted. I can still see you, dude. Seems I got the wrong plane somehow. Uh, meth smells like you spent, like a spent M588 to you. No, don't know why it just does. No worries. Um, no, diggity. I didn't see anything. I didn't see anybody time you out or anything. Um, if you said like a, a, a wordy dirt, it might've gotten caught by the filter. You can't say fuck shit or, you know, cunt or anything like that in text. It'll get caught. Let's see, YF4E? Maybe, maybe. Uh, you seen this video of a sloth in the middle of the road? It looks so funny. Yeah, sloths are funny. The first F4 Phantom in 1958 prototype took, uh, yeah, 62 years ago, or 1958, so that was 64 years ago. The Fragante. F4H1. I'm reading things. I don't like reading things. It makes me feel stupid. How do we get on the meth? Don't do meth, kids. Do math. Or as our friend Peter says, <laughs> Come on, do math. Do math. How about no? Yeah, do me. Hey, uh, Peter, we gotta talk about this drug ring you're running out of your basement. Hey, <laughs> Joe, you're funny. I'm not running a drug ring, it's Meg. But, Dad, shut up, Meg. All right, and when she gets out, she'll be illegal. Giggity gig. I didn't say any of that, and you can't prove it, even if you clipped this and played it back for me. I agree. Yeah, I to acknowledge my own stupidity. Meg would sell guns for bullets. I'm a stupid, I'm a stupid, stupid motherfucker. Also, Glock 17 L secured and calling the Hydro Dip guys when it gets here. <laughs> nice. If it's po is it possible I could slide a picture of the plane I mean to you anywhere? Can't for some reason find the name of it. Um, you can email it uh, Jiminy, the G the Jiminy Show at gmail.com. Who knows? You may actually wind up being uh oh. With the uh oh. 
Man, I am yawning and I don't know why. Yeah, just send it to me in an email, dude. I'll see it at some point. Jimmy, I'm not an idiot and miss it, which I have done. The end in the viral videos. Do I only do Gmail? Yeah, pretty much. I have Instagram and all those, but I can't look at them when I'm on my phone. Uh, they're on my phone. And I have Instagram on the computer, but I don't really jump on to Instagram too much. A lot of my posts just get automatically updated. Do, 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 am I getting your comments? Did you get banned? Been asking the same question for a while and you keep skipping intentionally or not getting your comments? Dude, I'm seeing what you're typing. I, if you're typing something else, diggity, I'm just not seeing it. Um, so it was you asking if you did something wrong. Uh, wait a minute, 3D pay. Okay, no, you're getting crazy, Wesson. I can't keep reading these out. You lost me with the 100 year round mags, dude. You're just getting crazy with 100 round mags. Everything else I was fine with, but the minute you talk about the uh, uh, 100 round mags, man, you lose me. You know how hard it is to load 100 round mags? It's easier to print the cat that alive, that's alive taped to a pizza than it is to load a 100 round drum mag. Okay, diggity. Cool. Yeah, no, no, that's fine, dude. Uh, no, read it. Or get it or, or, or. No, no, calm down. I'm not afraid to time out my own mod. Not too good with Gmail. Might take you some time to figure it out. Just uh, click on share for the picture and then go to mail Gmail and just send it to the Jiminy Show at gmail.com. That's about all I can tell you, bro. Um, I mean, if you put it up on Instagram, I'll go looking for it. Just tell me your Insta handle. My Insta handles. Ah, grr, grr. Look, dude, you're getting a little crazy. Thank y'all. Come on, man. I just like I like you, but uh, you can spam at the end. I promise. Need to know Wesson's dealer. They on some good stuff. I think Wesson just uh, he fires the rounds and then he snorts whatever's left in the in the casings. Six five Grendel or six five Creedmoor, which is better and what's the difference? Creedmoor is for distance. Grendel is for power. Um, so hunting versus accuracy or distance is how I would put it. The unknown truth about the H9 pistol. It's a copy of a gun who gives a shit. Dun, dun, dun. Indian dumber. Cocaine packed pills at the border security in Australia. She doesn't look like she's a drug trafficker. You ever watch those where they do the airport people and they catch all the drugs and guns and shit? Some of it looks like it's completely fake. Some of it looks real, though. Why would you buy a Rolls-Royce Wraith for, Wraith for 700 grand that's wrecked? Just leave it for an extra week, even if it was running and driving, it'd be worth like 2K. What's up, people? What are you doing? Watch this. Subs go up! If you see it's not all the way in there, it's only much away. I think YouTube is silencing your comments. That was that question you kept asking. Don't think they like the caliber spelled out all the way. Um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure, dude. Uh, their algorithm is so screwy that, yeah, like you said, depending on how you're typing it out, it might have just been capturing it because, you know, maybe Grendel means something in another country or something. Engine rinse. I don't rinse my engines. Oh, super prop. Private jet arrivals and takeoffs in Bermuda. I don't want to go to Bermuda. I want to go to the Bahamas. Come on, pretty nana. So, anyways, what's up, guys? Come on. Ask me some stuff. I'm starting to fall asleep. I need your help. I'm out of things to talk about. Ow. My knuckle just popped. Who here watched The Reacher both seasons? Do you think season three is going to be any gooder? Who thinks this season's going to be? Your favorite unicorn of a handgun is the 30 carbine pistol. Oh, the Automag 3? And I think there's other guns that shot it, but I actually shot an Automag 3. Um, interesting story. So my buddy at his store, this guy brings one to him and says he needs it fixed. So he brings it to me. And if you guys are familiar with the IMI stuff, the when they first came out, the Hardballers, the um, the Automag series, they're a commercial. They were the first full commercial stainless guns, really, but they had heat treatment problems, so they would gall. So this guy had two slides, two barrels, 
and the frame because he didn't want to shoot the original barrel because it had never been shot. And he put the other barrel and the other frame together, yet it was sticking. So he brings it to me and I take the barrel out and I can see that the entire inside of the slide is galling from the interference fit between the barrel and the slide. So I literally was taking, this was back when they were still worth like over three grand. And I'm t sitting there with steel wool trying to clean out the, the galling on the inside of his slide. And then I got to shoot it and it ran flawless. It was pretty fun. Have I ever heard or seen, uh, held a graphene pistol? I've heard of it. I've never, never done that. Let me, let me look at that. Oh, well, of course, Taurus comes out with the gun they're calling the graphene. So what's your email? I couldn't find it. It's just thejiminyshow at gmail.com. So the Jiminy, J-I-M-M-I-N-I, -I show at gmail.com. Would I rather have the Sig Spear or the Stag AR-10 if they were both the same price? Um, that's a good question. I think I'd still go with the stag. I've had the stag. I really like the stag. I like how it shoots. The spear is nice, but I really like the stag. Yes, that's what I'm going to go with. That's the peanut butter that I'm eating here, son. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't drown it because they're usually too big. Oh, my leg. Uh, don't know if I can go six hours, but I'll go as long as I can, kids. My legs are killing me. What are we at? Three hours and 30 minutes. So should be able to go, but if I can't, then you'll know. Uh -huh. What do you know? I just rhymed with the flow. You have a 1,000 millimeter 3D printed pizza cat in a high point with a three round mag that is belt fed and the cat is made of diamonds that is taped to a 1,000 inch barrel. <sighs> Has Jolly Ranchers in the mag. That'll teach you. 10 second timeout, Sonny. Respect your elders. <laughs> of course, by the time you read it, it'll be over. But I did it anyways. Calm down, feller. Calm down, little feller. I wonder how many times I've timed you out. You and Dee Dee. I've timed you out a bunch of times. You're all a little weird. You can spam at the end, I promise. You weirdo. Uh, yeah, my leg is really starting to hurt now. It's the downside to sitting. I'm going to put my leg down on the floor and see how it lasts. Everybody pray for my foot. I mean, it's too late. I'm missing a bunch of toes, but... Oh, yeah. There we go. I'm watching Star Trek lore. I love Star Trek lore. I think Star Trek is the superior movie and television franchise series. Fight me. I don't care if Star Wars has made more money than Star Trek. Definitely want uh, want a Rattler SBR with an integrally suppressed barrel bit that takes stamped AR abysmal. Yeah, an integrally suppressed one would be nice. Uh, you forgot to paint the tank killers. Good for you. Rush got hooked on hillbilly heroin, uh, i.e. the Oxycontin. Um, I don't, t I'm non-reactive to pain meds. I don't take pain meds. Um, my body literally does nothing with them. I can take fentanyl and it does nothing to me. I used to wear a fentanyl patch on my shoulder to try to numb the nerve pain. And literally I was non-reactive to it. Um, I could take 40 milligrams 10 times a day of oxy and it does nothing to me so uh you had a strunk mid typing i kind of understood what you're talking about it's cool anya taylor joy man she looks like she got hit in the face with an axe and they sewed it apart people say my eyes are far apart have you seen anna taylor joy holy shit but i mean but she has a vagina so i guess it's okay or the girl that did uh, Ariel in the live-action mermaid. Holy cow. Okay. God damn it, Wesson. 
I'm going to go for a minute this time. I swear to God. Um, 300 blackout, not 300 rattlers. I think you would be cool if you had 300 rattlers. Nobody would mess with you. That would probably get you a visit from somebody, though, going, Sir, why did you buy 300 uh, suppressors and 300 uh, SBRs and 300 SIG Saddler Rattlers? SIG Saddler Rattlers? SIG Saddler. I'm going to call them that from now on. Excuse me, can I see that Rattler? You mean the SIG Saddler Rattler? I, I'll, I'll let you have the SIG Saddler Rattler, Battler, Maddler, Faddler, Battler, Rattler, Family Guy, Roasting Women. But I hope the cat gets saves. Uh, well, I missed someone with your Gmail. So maybe I got you. I don't know. We'll find out. Give me about a day. I'm just kidding. Hang on a second. I keep closing my windows. Uh, let's see if it went into my Spain. We'll see what happens. It takes a little while. Uh, I know quite a few people who got prescribed narcs and got addicted and even when taking uh, them as directed, it really depends on individual people. They tried uh, opiate and you puked it out. Well, there you go. Would you rather have the honey badger or the cig rattler? Ooh, good question. I think I would rather have the rattler. I think it's got more readily available parts for repair. Although I haven't heard about badgers going down too much. Actually, what I would take is the sugar weasel version of the badger. It's like half the price, but it's still integrally suppressed. So, yeah, I think I would take the uh, sugar weasel. So it's kind of what you asked me, only completely different. Sig Sattler Rattler next dies design with the rattlesnake design. Yeah, it should be all country style. They should give it an Ugg boot, but make it a, a cowboy boot. Since they're already getting sued for the S bar, might as well get sued for everything. Excuse me, that's Ruger. Ruger should make the S bar and put a cowboy boot on it instead of the UGG boot. That would just be hilarious. What did you people do to me? Shh, shh. Oh, it's starting to turn red. That's what she said. Are you so Asian? My nose hurts. Uh, I'm going to guess you did something wrong. Why? Why did you do something wrong? What happened, minigun? Uh, I'm not seeing anybody getting their messages held, so either just some messages just ain't coming or something's going wrong. Uh, I take either, but in Cali, we don't get anything fun. You get rocks. Jesus, Lamau. I'm going to guess I did something wrong. I don't know what you did, dude. Legend, I get it. Your dad lives there and he can't have fun. No, no, no. What you get is you get two rocks, right? So that when the cops take one rock, you still have a rock. Uh-oh. I just said a rock like three times. I'm going to get banned. Why does this man keep talking about mid Middle East stuff? Uh, it sucks, man. Just talked to my wife in a leading Cali, so she's looking at different states now. Mm, I don't know. There aren't that many others to choose from. Do you keep up on the battle for 2A from 2A news sites like Gun Gadgets or Living Outdoor Cali Langley Outdoor Academy? Not too much. I follow the local stuff, and then when an issue comes up that I can actually vote for, I'll, I'll definitely follow that. Um, but, yeah, the different states, like what's going on in Illinois with their bans and all the other states with that hate guns, um, yeah, I don't follow those as closely as I should. That rocks. This rocks. Oh, man. Now, I might only make it four hours tonight, guys. I'm telling you, I'm starting to feel it. The Rock carries two rocks to rock on the rock while rocking on the rocking chair drinking Ciroc. On the rocks. Uh, there's a good 40 or so that are better than Kelly. I can think of one. It's called the State of Joe. It's my only place. Uh, nah, soon they'll have you register the rocks and fists as assault weapons. Dang it. Uh, you did start new chat, put in the Gmail you told me, and then sent the message. Hold on. It might be coming. 
Emails suck sometimes, dude. It might not be here forever. I'm just not seeing it, dude. Sorry. Has not come through yet, but just wait. I'm, it might come through. Like I said, the Jiminy Show at gmail.com. Hey, Glock. Then why don't you live in California? Who the fuck wants to live in California? It's expensive. You have no freedoms. It's expensive and you can't do anything. Did I mention it? it's expensive? The Gmail has no PFP. Um, it's not supposed to have one, but it's online. Um, the Jiminy Show at gmail.com. I mean, that's I, it, I don't know why it's doing that to you, but that's literally what it is. I don't want you giving out yours on here, so, you know, I don't know what to do. Uh, we're getting weird here. We're getting technical. We're getting administrative. I don't know how I feel about that. All you weirdo people coming in here, making me feel like a girl. An unsafe girl. Keep on. Why are you so obsessed with me? And stuff. I don't know. I'm just fucking with people now. Alright, so... Do I have a Discord? Nope. I need to. Um, there's only one place better than Cali, and unless they're crap on the, the reason it's not, you're confused now. There's only one place. I was making a joke, Glock. So it's free the cat from the high point at gmail. You motherfucker. Uh, I mean, you look pretty for a girl. Thank you. I do my best. If you put out your email, I promise not to look. Yeah, no, I just don't want to dox anybody, so don't put your personal email in there. If you do that, everybody will know what your email is, and then you'll get nothing but porn. Really? See, people don't get it. That's fine. That's fine. Somebody's still asking if they can win the save. You can't win the save. I already announced the winner. The winner was Max. Max Patterson. And if he doesn't contact me by Friday, I will just pick one of my live stream commenters and give it to them. So we'll see what happens. But I'd like to give it to Max because Max followed the rules. Max had his subscriptions public, left a like, left a comment, left a good reason, and left. That's what I look for in a woman. Do what I ask and then leave. Uh, da, 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 da. no worries, uh, Glock, dude. I I throw a lot of jokes out there that I don't that a lot of people don't know. Um, yep, just came through minigun. Yeah, although it just says hello, you didn't attach the picture. But yeah, it, what you want to do is start another email to the same thing. And then hit your little paper clip thing that'll allow you to attach the picture and send it on to me again. Because it didn't send the picture. Unless you sent it as two different emails. Ooh, hoping for the best. Hey, Max Patterson here. Thanks for the save. Super excited. Sure thing. Send me an email, Max. Uh, you left Cali and moved to Nevada. Now California is moving here. They leave the state because of the politics they voted for. Now they're trying to push that crap here. Haha, ha, for now, pushing back. Yeah, that's that's a city thing. Shitty thing. All that and forgot the picture. Yeah, no, he'll send one. Hi, yeah, we're getting there. And then freeze the pizza cat at gmail.com. You're getting there. We're getting lesson. You're getting close. Uh, hey, even if I got spammed, I can just find their IP from their emails just so you can take their internet access down for a bit. That's kind of funny. There it is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I have seen that picture. That one was the... Uh, it's the F4H one. That's why you got, thought it was the other one. It's a good one. I like that plane. It's a little bit more plain, pardon the pun, than the other plane. Pardon the pun. Maybe if I lean forward, people will get in here. Or if I move around. Look, I'm a human being and I'm moving. Somebody like me. Is it just me or is my hand small for my head?
punch myself in slow motion. But you like the pizza cat. I get that, Wesson. And I get the joke, but you're kind of Jack Blacking it now. You're beating it to death. Cyber security for the win. You could show the whole class the picture. Uh, starting Wednesday, I'm going to go back to OBS one day a week, and then I can. Um, but hold on. I'll bring it up. I'm just trying not to show your... Yeah, it doesn't show anything. Hold on a second. Let me close that email. Hey, kids, look. It's a plane. It's a plane plane. It's an airplane. It's a plane plane. That one doesn't have landing gear. I think that one was the mock-up for the F4H. If you look at it, it doesn't have a front nose wheel, and it's sitting on a giant jack stand. So I believe that is a fake plane, but it's a plane plane. Totally AI. You can't fool us. Do you work at a gun store? Or are you a part owner or an owner or an owner or management? Uh, no, I help out at my buddy's gun store. This was one I was working at for a while called Middletown Firearms. Uh, I was the store manager for a while, but he and I had differences of opinion on how to run the business, such as you made me your manager, let me run your goddamn business. Um, and he just wanted to have total control. He was there open and closed every single day, even though he was the owner for the last nine years. I can't do that. If you want me to run your business, I'll run your business. If you want to run your business and just have a yes man, I'm not it. Yep. It is the original designs for the F4. You are 100% correct, Mr. Minigun. Oh my god. It, it, airplane. I love the airplane. You like 3D printed high points with stuff taped to it. Build them, bro. Just tried out Team Fortress 2. Kind of fun, kind of chaotic game. Yeah, I've played that a little bit. It's one of those games where you can just play it without thinking. I prefer the games that are team, like, uh, kick the snot out of each other. You die, you come back. CS2, all those games. It's short for the F4 photon. It's a photon to load the photons. Uh, sir, they won't fit. Why? I don't know. These, it's this new McDonnell Douglas F4 photon. You morons. I said photon, not phantoms. Uh, the wings are straight, bro. They aren't straight. It's just a bad picture. They just have a minimal arc to them. So the arc at the rear of the, or the, rear of the front slats is barely elevated. And then the, the coloring difference makes it hard to see. But they are slightly. Um, they are not the dihedral upsweep. Yeah, they are not as upswept. And they also are a little bit uh, lower, too. Uh, gotta love the guys who hire people to do a job only to not let them do it. Pretty much, what extra licensing or permits would you need to have a gun store and a range? Um, depends on what kind of range you want. So Middletown has its own range, but it's on 66 acres of land. However, anytime that that range is open, they have a range master there. So if you're going to have a monitored range, you have to pay insurance. You have to pay for a range master. You have to pay, pay for everything that's going on. If you want to have an indoor gun range, good God, no, uh, you're talking like $5 million for a 10, 10 lane range. Uh, a lot of it has to do with ventilation and uh, lead um, bulletproofing the building to make sure that errant shots can't go through the any like ceiling tiles, things like that. Uh, a massive cost for that. Just for the gun store license, you have to find a location that is approved for a gun store. My buddy and I were looking at banks up here in Northern Virginia because he's going to be opening up a store of his own. Um, and a lot of bank locations would be perfect because they have vaults and everything. However, a lot of them do not allow gun stores in them. Uh, a lot of shopping centers that are close to schools don't allow gun stores in them. A lot of privately owned malls will not allow gun stores in them. So you have to find a location that will allow you to put in a gun store first. That's always the biggest problem there. Uh, ha ha. Oops. Uh, if you like CS, you probably like Rainbow Six Siege. Not really. Rainbow Six Siege is um, not nearly as chaotic as Rainbow Six. I like Rainbow Six because of what it is. Uh, don't get me wrong, but I prefer Counter-Strike with their unlimited deathmatch, so you can just keep respawning as many as you want. The air tunnel test really did help finish the design to get the F-4s. Uh, you can't remember the specs at the time, but wasn't the radar the F-4H1 really good for the time it was made? Yeah, I mean, it was 1958 was the first flight of the F-4. So, yeah, for its time, it had super advanced avionics. It also had ground-following terrain radar, so it could actually fly at those low levels at nearly Mach 1. But, uh, yeah, they were... Um, 
they were fast outdated, unfortunately. By the time the Korea War was over, um, yeah, by the time Vietnam came along, they had to have a full refit. I like you. You ask a lot of uh, stuff. Fab! What's going on, Fab? How you doing today, bro? How you hanging in there? You hanging in there? That was my jaw, by the way. I'm getting tired. My jaw's popping really bad. Oh my good. Oh my god. At least I know how I'm going to do the camera from now on. It's sitting on, it's bolted to a wooden chair. Doing pretty good. Well, now you're here. Don't worry. I'm not worried, Fab Fest. I, I'm, I'm digging it. Just be careful. Wesson had a little bit too many sugar sticks and he's getting really into pizzas and cats. Uh, you like the chaos of charging in three Timmies to get a corner with an SMG in Siege. Yeah. Uh, I've only played limited. Um, when I played, I played on PS4, actually, because my buddies all wanted me to play. So I bought a uh, Star Wars PS4. I know, I just got done saying Star Trek was was the better game, or better genre IP. But yeah, we would play, and then I would accidentally team kill, because I'd go to open a door and I'd drop, like, a grenade while the scene, while everybody's loading in. So yeah, they eventually got tired of me. Afraid how you handle a handgun. You'll figure it out, dude. I know people that do it all the time. I know it's a bummer what happened, but you should be good. Requires too much co-op between teammates for your taste. Uh, you're more of a casual FPS player. You don't want to voice chat. You just want to play a few games and log out. Yeah, that's why I do CS Counter-Strike 2 also and Team Fortress 2 because they have single player modes. I'd much rather do that. I, I can spend hours doing deathmatch in CS2. Uh, how does one obtain an FFL license? Do you need to go to some sort of schooling or just apply to the Department of Public Safety or something? You need to go to the ATF website. They have all the documentation you need. Um, you need to have a location in place, especially if you're going to open an FFL, be it in your house. You'll need to have safes or some way to secure firearms. Uh, you will need some sort of inventory system, a bound book, as they're called. Um, you'll figure out how to do that. Most people do not suggest doing it on paper anymore. That's one of the worst ways to do it. Um, you definitely would want to do a brick and mortar store. ATF is cracking down on private FFLs because private FFLs are the vast majority of screw ups, the vast majority of accidental sales to people that shouldn't be getting guns. Uh, yeah, so do not, um, apply as a, a, a household FFL because you probably get denied. Soap or body wash, um, whatever that they let me use. It's the same stuff I used to wash my car and get stains out of my mattress. Uh, Star Trek is science fiction. Star Wars is space opera, space fantasy. Trek is uh, superior to wars. I just don't like a movie franchise where one family destroyed the universe. I love when game, games make the F4 radars bad or don't give it what it has in real life. Looking at War Thunder, not giving the F4s what it deserved. Yeah, they turned the F4 into like a slow support vehicle. Um, and even in DCS uh, Dogfight, that simulator, the VR1, they're not as good as they could be. But they're a lot better. Um, that's better because PC players are sweets. My brain just stopped. Uh, was just curious with the leg cast, how do I manage to shower? Um, when we built this uh, level of the house, we actually built it with a walk-in shower for me. So I literally just sit on the floor with my legs sticking out of the shower. And I just, um, I close the curtain over where the cast is. And basically I just sit on the floor in the shower. Um, but the other thing you can do is you can take a garbage bag, wrap it around. If you have like bandage on your hand or wherever the bandage goes up to, just put a bag on there and just either rubber band it or tape it and then keep it out of the flow of the water or sponge baths. Get yourself a nurse. I know it's your hand, but get yourself a nurse. <gasps> that hurts so bad. Excuse me for a second. Star Wars' OG trilogy was a good story. Yeah, it was. I'll give you that. It was okay. It was not the worst thing I'd ever seen. But like he's like everybody else said, they're science fa fantasy. I prefer science fiction. We could build an enterprise. We can't build a Death Star. Sorry, these ones, the hexagons that he put all the coloring into, man, they hurt like a son of a bitch. And I put this on just to keep them supple, but they they come apart anyway. This one actually hurts the least. 
the one with my death date. There we go. Yay! I just put a bunch of crap on me. Uh, let me take a shower because you have not had one in a week. Uh-oh. Uh, the rest of the universe and Lark, blah, blah, blah. No dude, I shower with a plastic bag and a bandage. There you go. They make a plastic sock for the cast. Super helpful when I had surgery on your foot. Yeah. Star Wars games like Night of the Old Republics is a masterpiece. Yeah, the games were good. Uh, let me take a shower. La, la, la. Sleeping in War Thunder. You love how classified docks and military vehicles are easy to find on the interwebs. That's true. The F-4 in War Thunder is a good missile bus, but the radar only has one search mode, and it has issue getting and keeping a lock on the enemy, and only how bad the early sparrows are, it's sad. Yeah, that's the other thing, because if you have an F-4E, they got much better avionics, much better electronics, much better uh, countermeasures, and much better air-to-air uh, -air stuff. They've got full sidewinders and all that stuff. Not going to lie, Joe, amputation is depressing, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Um, like I said, dude, it sucks. I hate that you're going through that, dude. Uh, you'll, you'll make it through. I know this isn't really a silver lining to it, but you're typing better. I'm guessing you're going slower. Sorry. This is talking about the F4E mainly. Oh, so they nerfed even the E. That was stupid. Star Wars had better games and uh, uh, novel than Star Trek, but the Trek series are way better at world building and plots. And some of the books that are apocryphy but not canon, holy shit, some of the books are amazing for Star Trek. You got to read some of the extended canon, not just the canon books. It's crazy. The AIM-7Es and E2s are lacking in radar is what I mentioned. Yeah, if it only has one scan mode, yeah, that's going to suck. Be like a, an old 1940s destroyer. Boop. Boop. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. On the rear. Would it be a better idea to find a location for a gun store and then get your FFL if you want to start your own business? It's better to have a location already located. You can commit without paying right away to most locations. You can set up a six-month contingency or whatever. Um and then you can start the process. But if you can't even find a location after you spend all the time, energy, money getting your FFL, you you might lose out on the money for no reason. Uh, the F4E never got nerfed from what I know, just never got what it deserved. And now when it's facing planes like 10 to 20 years in the future, it's sad. See, I believe in accuracy by volume. So just give me 100 F4 Phantoms against like two F22s. I think we got a chance. Uh, can you share any tips for you on how you can safely and responsible introduce somebody to firearms for your newbie wannabe range buddy? But I told them that I'll te tech, uh, teach you a thing or two first. Uh, the way I would train somebody is the way I was taught. First time we went out, he brought a selection of guns from 22 all the way up to 10 mil. And we started with the revolver with one round in it. I shot the revolver, 22 Colt single action revolver, shot the revolver. He let me run a whole cylinder through it after I shot it the first time. I had fun. So then we moved on to the next thing, which was a 9 mil, one round, locked back, gave me a mag, shot the whole mag. So you want to start them slow. You got to definitely show them how not to break the 180. So, you know, walk them up to if you have a table set up or if there's a shot firing line, you make sure that he acknowledges where the firing line is. Show them exactly how to pick up and set down a pistol if they've never done it. If you're going to be letting them handle the, the pistol independently of you, you want to show them how to pick up and handle the gun. Um, loading and unloading should be done with an empty mag at first until they get used to it. And then you can swap them over to a, 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 a real mag. Um, just take your time. He can have fun as long as he knows he's being safe. Um, obviously, flagging, all that stuff. You need to definitely call that as soon as he sees it. As soon as you see it, you got to encourage him to call you when he sees you doing it. I've been called out for flagging and 100% deserved it. And the ground clutter on radar is horrible and a huge issue. Yeah, no thank you. Uh, you hate how Trek has been uh, covering controversial social topics since the original series, but new Trek pretends all that didn't exist and has to shove social crap disguised as a show. Yeah, unfortunately, but at least they went back to an episodic format. Uh, how much time and money does it take to get your FFL from the alphabet dorks? Not 100% sure. I didn't do it. My buddies did it. I can tell you that the startup costs just for a basic store, they wound up spending like 200 grand. 
Uh, final question, then dinner time. Do you know any good 300 blackout cans? Uh, Dead Air Sandman, um, the Sandman K, the uh, 36M from Silence Co., the 36M Hybrid, if you want one that can be made longer or shorter. Uh, those are both really good choices. And then there's a couple other ones, but I don't have as much experience with them. Um, but definitely the Sandman K and the um, uh, 36M were good ones, in my opinion. Uh, by new Trek, you mean really, really new on Paramount. Yeah, you're talking about Strange New Worlds. Yeah, because they have a transgender person, a, a non-binary person. They have a, a villain that was is a transgender. Um, they have the gay engineer. They have all that stuff. Yeah, they're doing all the social stuff. Uh, definitely a minigun meister. Yeah. How do you handle discussions about controversial firearm accessory modifications such as buff stocks or suppressors or even a switch two on your channel? Um, I tend to not talk about switches much because unfortunately they've been rendered illegal by the ATF in conjunction with Congress and everything. They, they've actually pushed it through to create an illegal, an illegality of them. Um, but if somebody asks me questions, I'll answer them truthfully. If they write their questions in a condescending bullshit way, I can usually identify that. Um, but if they're asking an honest question, they want to know what's going on. I will answer them and teach them exactly what they need to know. Uh, large calibers. Uh, yep. Then 36 M 46 M hybrid, uh, the 46 M you can go up to 45, 70 government. Um, okay, man, you got to head out. Take care. Yep. You too, lobster. Absolutely, dude. Thanks for coming in. Like I said, I'm only going four hours. My, my, the back of my throat hurts really bad. So I'm going to be dipping out in about eight minutes anyways. What's the smallest car cal the smallest caliber I've shot? Um, 17 HMR Mach 2. So it's a 177 caliber basically. So it's very close to a, like an MP7, which shoots to the 4.6 millimeter, which is also about 0.177. Uh, that's the smallest center fire cartridge I've shot. Um, I would say that's the smallest I've ever shot. 36M is by Sinochico, right? Yep. And I have their Osprey 9 pistol suppressor, and I really like it. Their customer service is great. They even will proactively tell you if they sent you out one that seemed to have had a quality control issue that slipped by. Uh, a buddy of ours had one sent in, and it has to go right back to Sinochico because they used a part that wound up on recall. And rather than let him experience like a baffle strike or a baffle detonation, uh, they're actually telling him to send the suppressor back, and they're going to have it back to him in two weeks. Joe, can you share any insights or experiences you learned from participating in tra firearms training courses or classes because your trainer was a douchebag and you learned nothing other than a few things, a few stances? Um, yeah, number one, if you're going to be trying to teach people, you can't just teach one way when it comes to things like how to hold the gun, how to stand, how to do things like that. That can be douchebaggery. You can't use absolute statement with a newbie. Uh, such as this is the only way to do this is the only way to draw your gun. It's the only way to shoot your gun. And this is the only gun you can use. Don't use absolutes when you're doing that. Um, and then I've seen people that actually do the live fire training and they just let them shoot. They aren't training them at all. I've seen a few trainers that will just go, okay, take your ammo, shoot at the target. We'll see what you do when you're done. Rather than teaching them how to find the sights or what's a good hold for them you know, I had somebody come in and they had gotten their CCW and the instructor had let them teacup the whole way and they were asking me why the gun recoiled that much. And I'm like, how are you holding the gun? So I gave him an unloaded gun, obviously, cleared it, handed it to him, and she teacupped it. And it was a Taurus G3, which is the Glock 17 size gun. And she's teacupping it and she was a dainty little thing. So I can tell just from how she was holding it because she was putting no pressure. You can teacup if you grip like it's the end of the world. But if you just loosely teacup the bottom of the magazine, you're going to you're gonna get recoil. So, yeah. So, don't, don't use absolutes when you're training somebody. Use open-ended questions, open-ended suggestions, things that will allow you to follow up and teach. Those are my recommendations. Uh, you're probably not as much of an F4E lover as I am. What are some things it's got that are good advances from the time? What else do you think is noteworthy? Um, just the overall design, its capabilities. It could be a low-level fighter. It could be a bomber. It could be a reconnaissance. There were models, the F4J, that was used exclusively like in Vietnam and stuff because of its speed and low-level flight capabilities. They had a model that didn't even have a gun. 
it was just armed with a camera and it was so fast versus like the MiG-15, MiG-17s that it could literally fly through at low altitude, take all of its pictures and be out of the out of the zone before they could scramble their jets. So it didn't even have guns. Uh, you don't really know about me, but the smallest caliber you have shot is your penis. Ouch. <laughs> oh, man. I can't believe you got me to read that whole thing. Hey, as long as you're a full-size government issue, dude, you're at least five, and that's good enough for most. Oh, God. Phantom Recon. Where is it? Not the aerial combat. I want to know about the uh, reconnaissance available. Yeah, the G. Um, the J, I mean, excuse me. Yeah, so the F4EJ or the RFEJ, F4EJ, um, they were licensed and built in Japan, some of them were, but they were also, they carried photographic equipment. Uh, doesn't the F4J have head-mounted displays? Yes, because it was literally the top of the line for its time uh, for reconnaissance. How do I approach discussing firearms modifications and customizations in your content? What factors do you consider when evaluating the practicality and effectiveness? Because you know, I think I know where the rest of the question is going to be. Uh, for a fact that if a gun modified wrong can completely ruin the handgun, I'm not sure. Yes, you are 100% correct. Um, there's also, you have to take into account, and it's something I mentioned in a lot of the videos where I talk about modifications I made to guns. Number one, YouTube won't let me show the modifications. I could make an unlisted video and upload it just for members and Patreons and shit. But I can't show myself uh, modifying a gun and have it be monetized. But the number one thing you want to consider is what is it your only gun? Is it going to be just a carry gun? Is it just a range toy? Is it just home defense? Because some people will take a gun, right? They'll take a Glock 17, for example. I've done it. A lot of people have. And you'll throw $600 at it. You'll have a custom slide, custom trigger, custom recoil springs, custom optics, custom cut slide, all this shit. Then all of a sudden you've created a gun that's only good for one thing, target shooting, and you ruined it for everything else. Uh, I've also given out the opinion that if it's just a strictly carry gun, don't change anything. You can put night sights and stuff like that, but you do not change the trigger pack on a stock firearm. That's one thing I will not do. You were just booted out and the chat was frozen. Um, there's only eight people right now, too, so it kind of dies down. Monday is never as busy, so that's why I'm going to dip out a little bit early. Uh, they're demonetizing the wrong type of content. Yeah, no, this, the, 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 the whoring that goes on on YouTube, you know, the um, look at my boobs while I'm doing a get ready with me. Go fuck yourselves. We know what you're doing. It's a PG only fans, and they're getting away with it. Stuff like that. Can I do a Nigerian accent? You don't suppose it, you suppose it's a very tough one. Yeah, I can't do one. If I studied one long enough, I could definitely do it. But off the top of my head, no, I can't do one. Um, Rajesh is one of the only ones I can do right now. It's, it's very difficult though. I have not done it in a while because you are not here. But now you are back. I'm glad to see that you are typing. Can you please go to your server, http slash notascam.org. It seems like it's an educational site because it's .org, but trust me, it's totally fine. So when you get in there, give me your social security number, your zip code, your birth date, your mother's maiden name, your father's maiden name, your dog's first name, your dog's last name, the street you grew up in, and then I would take care of everything. Everything will be fine. Michael, are you taking off, bro? Uh, thanks for coming in, dude. Sorry, I know Friday, Mondays are always the slowest ones, and I announce the winner like an hour in, and of course, people get all... Bye-bye. I seem a bit sus. No, 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 my friend. Trust me. I am going to be your security specialist. I will take everything from, I mean, I will protect people from coming. I will, I will keep your stuff yours. Trust me.
you could not, you know, I mean, come on, I don't even try to say like, my name is Chuck. No, I said my name is Rajesh. I honest about everything I'm doing. It's totally fine. It's good. Trust me, bro. I totally believe in your God. I mean, our God. I mean, the God. I mean, oh God. I mean, oh God. Oh, Ganesh, I should not be doing this, but I must provide. Oh, I had another guy send me one of those shitty emails. Hey, man, let's let's fleece your, your, your subscribers. He didn't say it in that way because he was a dick. But yeah, he got all angry when I told him I was going to expose him. Oh, you better not tell everybody about this. You live in America and you are able to do all this fun stuff, but I cannot. Why are you not helping me? I need to do a little to go to go. I will send you an invoice and start submitting payment requests later today for the pistol sales review. I applied for my supervisor and sales department since it's last year's product. Lead. There's no paid budget. You can create one short videos. Oh, hell yeah. So blacksmith wants to send me a couple more pistol safes. So maybe I'll give one of those away. I can ship that to all five of you. We'll see what happens. Sorry, I was checking that. Um, when do you think Glock will step up their game with base models coming out with night sight side, side slide cuts and better triggers, or do you think they're going to stay the same and get out-competed? Uh, it's a 50-50 shot. Since Gaston died, hopefully the new management will understand they need to make some improvement. I guarantee you, because the Gen 3 stuff is all on the California DOJ roster. That's why they still make Gen 3s. Um, they are definitely going to come out with something that's a little bit newer. They're definitely going to come out with something in a... Sorry if you guys got an ad. Um, but they're definitely going to come out with something that is slightly better. Hopefully something with slide cuts, something that's uh, more readily cut, just like straight RMR cut so you can direct mount an SRO, things like that. But it's going to be a while. Is there anything else I dislike about this? Or is there anything I dislike about YouTube? I don't understand why they keep demonetizing channels like mine, where I literally don't try to sell you anything. I don't try to, well, I try to sell you like my shirts and shit. And we, by the way, I have those coming. They'll be here on Sunday, on Thursday for Friday's live stream. But I'm not telling you to go out and commit crimes. I'm not telling you how to do things illegally. I'm not telling you anything. I'm trying to just provide education and fun, yet they still make me fight for every penny I get. Where can you go to get sites installed? Uh, Joe, if most FFLs, if they have any sort of like Glock armor on the premises or anything like that, they can usually, or any gunsmith, can install sites, especially if you buy them there. Uh, usually, otherwise, you're going to pay 25 to 40 bucks, but most gun stores can do it. Hey, Bucket, what's up? Uh, you don't think the Glock fanboys will allow them to really branch out? They will, but very small. It'll be one or two models, but they'll keep all the rest. Uh, that would be awesome. You do need to say it. Just found your, your wife is pregnant and can't have your pistols just out ready to use like you do right now. Yeah, um, the the blacksmith one is actually pretty cool. Come back. Maybe I'll give out one of those for a giveaway too. Um, don't take away our Gen 3s. They won't. Like I said, they're the only ones on the Cali registers. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Hey, dude, you'll head out your tire too or else you would have tried to entertain more. Fab, you're always amazing. The fact that you're even trying to come up with questions like that is awesome dude i appreciate that get some rest um if you're feeling better if you need to text or whatever or uh, email email me and then i'll give you my number things like that dude uh so just what the monetize or demonetize is is the big issue so just what they monetize and demonetize is the biggest issue yes because here's the deal when i did video game pickups and uh car reviews uh, i was suggested a lot more but i wasn't monetized at the time um, and when I did get monetized, I was making 40 to 45% more per video than I do now based on what they'll pay. So if you look at like, um, a sewing channel, a makeup channel, a channel where it's family friendly -er, uh, those people will get anywhere between 12 and $15 for every thousand views. I will get maybe 10 to $11 for every thousand views. But that is split 55 or uh, uh, excuse me, 55, 45 or 60, 40 with YouTube. So I get 60 percent of that. So I'll get like six bucks for every thousand views I get versus 
12 you know versus seven or eight dollars it adds up and then the shorts man they don't pay for nothing they don't pay for shit so they if they had a blanket payout by the thousands i make like five cents for every thousand views which was fine when i was doing 10 million views but then youtube stopped suggesting gun channels so then i'm getting five hundred thousand views so you're talking about making 50 bucks for making videos every single day so if i was doing this as a daily living thing i might get a little angry um, but yeah, that's my biggest thing. Also, you know, the fact that there's a lot of things I can't do on live streams. Like I can't even show you parts of like, I can't show you the frame of a pistol. Really. I can't, um, if it's on the wall on a rack in the safe, then I can spin and show it to you, but I can't physically pick it up in front of you. I, I hate that. I mean, I understand why, but I hate that. Um, I think that would require something like a 20 second or 30 second delay. And then that gets really shitty. Um, I'm back. Wait, seven watching. Yeah, Wesson, this is Monday, dude. Monday always dies off around four hours. You got to remember, it's Monday. California is just getting, you know, relaxed. It's eight o'clock there, shit like that. Um, so a lot of people are just, just now finally relaxing for the evening. So I would have to stay on another hour before it comes back up. You just realize you've been uh, here for a couple hours without hitting the like button. Dude, Fuck it. I really appreciate it. You do what you got to do, brother. I appreciate anything you guys do when you come in. Um, but yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm going to head out, guys. Um, it's, see, now it starts to jump up because it's after the first of the hour. Ah, oh, shit. All you new people, come on in. But uh, I'm not going to be here much longer. Uh, I had to eat dinner. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it, dude. Like I said, fr Wednesdays and Fridays are always the longer streams and they're always the better streams. I might just do a standard four-hour Monday, six-hour Wednesday, six-hour Friday, just because it's easier that way. So if there's anything else you guys want to say, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'd be happy to uh, answer things. No problem. I appreciate it, Redneck. Sorry if you're not here for too much longer. Um, I'm going to type up this email, so go ahead and tell me stuff if you need to. Too late. Smith Weston has already started. It's over. Yep. Seems pretty sad. Audio porn. Wait. And, wow. Whores and twats are allowed, but guns cross the line. Yep. Pretty much. Uh, bucket. Bucket is out. All right, homie. Thank you. Um, gruff foaming from the mouth. Uh, that cat bit you. Uh, it's not that they're bad. It's making the masses believe they are. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, that is a problem you have here. I'll stay on for a few minutes because when a lot of people come in, I hate to jump out when there's a bunch of people coming in. All you new people, Max Patterson is the winner of the safe. So if you're coming for that, you missed it. But hey, in a week I'm doing, or actually on Friday, I'm doing another giveaway. I'm going to give away a couple of gift cards. Uh, if you become a member, you get to get qualified for a really nice CMC two and a half pound trigger that I'm giving away. And unlike a lot of these fake ass motherfuckers who give out iPhones supposedly and shit. I have the product sitting there. I will send it out immediately. You can ask, well, I don't know if any of the previous winners were in here, but when I said I'd give out gift cards before I bought them on the goddamn live stream, I'm here for you mother fathers. Get in here and like these videos. Come in here and watch the shit. Uh, become a member. You're automatically entered and you get two chances because you get to win in the members giveaway and the regular giveaway. And then you just get to have fun asking me lots of stupid questions. I uh, know you're eating the pizza cat. You freed it from the high point. You're eating the whole cat? Jesus Christ. Could I get a gift card instead? Yeah, if you win and you'd rather have a gift card, I will give you a gift card. 
Uh, it's not that they're bad. It's making the message. Yep. Uh, and how do you become a member? I see join on some channels, but not yours. Uh, the join button is there. It just might be hidden behind something. So you got to hit like if you're on the phone, hit the three buttons and see if it's there. There might be a dollar sign that appears. That's the join button for my channel on on uh, iPhones and stuff. Uh, I believe in America before gun laws were as strict, guns weren't really scary and very few people died to them. But after gun laws became stricter and more rules, suddenly more people pass away. Yeah, here's a little bit of a statistic. It was broken down by Colleen Noir, and it's a true statistic. Anybody can look these facts up. Um, the last one where they tried to ban everything, they said there were 44,000 gun-related deaths. What they neglected to tell you was the vast majority of those were suicides. Somebody who's going to kill themselves is going to kill themselves. You're not stopping them. The uh, Another large portion of it was police involved. So police were forced to shoot and kill a suspect, a, a fleeing criminal, whatever. And then a, a small percentage, it was something like, what was it, like 6% of that number? So like 5,000 people were killed with handguns, which is a lot. I'm not going to say it's not a lot. But in a country with 333 million people, 5,000 people is such a small minority more people were killed drowning than were killed with guns. More people were killed by far in car accidents being hit by drunk drivers than by guns. Smoking kills more people than guns. A lot of these issues that, that kill more people are socially acceptable because they're accidents. No, some retard drinks a fifth of vodka, gets behind the wheel and slams into a family of five, killing all five. And he walks away because he was so drunk he was passed out at the time. That's way worse than one dude killing another dude over a vendetta or some shit. So, yes, no, I do believe that it's full sensationalism. And if the facts are presented in the right, correct form, that it would become a lot more understandable. You're talking politics with your family and you keep thinking that Trump can be, become a dictator when I remind them how the American government system works and they tell you you're wrong. It's annoying. In the entire electoral body that's currently in office across the country, I'd probably say 10 to 15 percent of all the elected officials, all the current serving civil servants, if you want to call them, 10 to 15% of them are actually doing it because they want to enact change. The rest of them do it because they're towing a party line either through nepotism or through some sort of misguided effort to impress somebody or because they're straight up bought out by a lobbyist or a lobbyist. Like when um, some super billionaire in New York was telling Virginia they need to put in stricter gun laws because Bloomberg, when he was trying to get extreme gun laws passed here, go fuck yourself, Bloomberg. You don't even live here. He, but he wanted uh, our former governor to become president. So he's like, oh, we'll enact all these all these horrible gun prohibitions uh, because a billionaire told him to. Not because he believed in them. He, he was going to do it because he was a Democrat. And the Democratic Party line or the Democrat Party line said guns are bad. So, no, I don't believe in fair politics because there's no such thing. There's no such thing as bipartisan because they both have such extreme beliefs that there is no such thing as a bipartisan power. That's why it took so long for the $1,200 uh, stimulus checks while they're getting paid hundreds of thousands of dollars and still getting paid while they're debating over whether or not somebody deserved $1,200. Um, yeah, it was bullshit. And politicians should all be have concrete shoes put in. They should all be caponed, concrete shoes and thrown into Lake Michigan. At least we'll feed some fish, although then we'll poison the fish, but we should still feed the fish. Um, and a tip, pay for it with credit cards so your credit score goes up. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Wes. They also include when you unalive yourself and a lot of that. No, like I said, the vast majority of gun statistics are suicides. Um, it was something like 60% of them. You got to remember, we lose 22 American soldiers a day to suicide. Um, many of them are due to gunshots. Um, a lot of suicide by cops. A lot of people just kill themselves. So yeah, unfortunately, it's a massive number. What year did you enjoy the most, even if it's in the past? Honestly, all the way up until I'd probably say the year I enjoyed the most was probably 2001 up until September 11th. It was my first year in the car business. I made a shit ton of money. Um, unfortunately, September 11th happened, and quite frankly, I still made a shit ton of money. So 2001 was my favorite year. 
I had a race car. I had everything. I had plenty of money. I was addicted to blackjack, so that was kind of a bad thing, but yeah. Uh, hey, it's true. The credit card goes does up. Yeah, as long as you pay for the credit card, Wesson. Uh, that's true, but even with the divided extremist governments, the checks and balance system still works and it's still effective and they don't realize that. Yeah, because they obviously neither party allows the other party to go to the extremes they wish they could. But again, it's more of um, it's almost like a political version of mass uh, um, mutually assured destruction. Because if the Democrats do something to massively step over the line, the Republicans are going to retaliate with their version of it. So, yes, we could wind up in that, but it would be such an extreme thing, It'd be such an extreme requirement. We had COVID and it didn't fully go, go that way. So, yeah, I do agree. You are right, Redneck. Trump on his own cannot become a, a massive twat dictator. He runs at the mouth a lot, but that's why people like him. But no, by himself, without Congress, Senate, House, and everybody backing him, no, he can't become a dictator. Uh, roughly, how much do you make? What do you mean, back then? Uh, my first year, it was 2001. Uh, I went from working at the Mall of America at a TJ Maxx. Um, so I went from making like $9 an hour to making, I was making shit. Um, the first year I cleared 90 grand. So I went from making $9 an hour to making 90 grand. So it was a bit of a, a bit of a jump. Uh, you can't find how to become a member anywhere when, when you do, you're happy to join. No worries, legend, whenever you do. If you do it before this giveaway, that's fine. If not, then it'll be on the next one. If I was like that, we would be in a kingdom a uh, hundred years ago. Exactly. The foundation fathers made it so incredibly difficult for our republic to become a kingdom. They thought of everything. Yeah. And, and the last checks and balance against that happening is the American citizen. We have a requirement that if the government goes tyrannical, that we must stand up and oppose it. And trust me, there's a lot of fucking hillbillies out there that would love that have the common sense not to do the bullshit that will get them in jail forever, but would love to take part in a revolution against a tyrannical government. Look, I'm a Democrat, but you hate Biden and ever demo that's no, any demo that's not pro-gun. If you side with Democrats or Republicans, that's 100% fine. I am not a Republican. I am not a Democrat. I am an independent because I see benefits on both sides of the party lines. I want to be, I'm a bi, I, I consider myself a bipartisan independent. I'm, I guess you would almost call me a, a temperate independent because I think both sides present arguments that are worth listening to, but they also do bullshit. <laughs> Fucking legend donated 20 bucks. Holy shit, that is a huge super. I don't know if you meant to do that, but what the fuck? Hey man, that's crazy. The whole government follows checks and balances, and on top of that, the citizens check the already check government. Yep. Uh, which president did I like the most? I was alive during Reagan, son. Reagan was a good fucking president. He started a lot of policies that carried on for a couple of decades. So, yes, I, Reagan was my president. Uh, literally so, I mean, extreme difficult for a monarch to rise. Absolutely. Coming in hot. Legend runs that in, dude. Holy shit. Thank you so much, bro. Um, if you can't find the join button, I will consider that your join, dude. You, That is amazing. Just remind me from time to time. If you don't want to join, just let me know. I appreciate that. Oh, fuck. All right, guys. This time I'm really out. We waited. We got a bunch of people out of here. So, yeah, my back is going to go. Come back on Wednesday. This whole setup will be different. I might be streaming from my computer on OBS, so your notification might be a little bit different, but I will do a post four to five hours before the video goes live, so just make sure you're here. Wanted to support since you couldn't find the members button. Dude, I appreciate that, Legend. You are your own namesake. You're you're a legend, dude. Um, Minigun, thank you, dude. It was so fun to interact with you with airplanes. I don't get to talk about airplanes enough. Um, appreciate that. Ethan, Welcome in, and we'll talk to you later. I hope you had you were listening and had a good time. I really didn't see anything from you. Adios. Everybody have a good one. Come back on Wednesday, and uh, we'll have some fun on the next one. All right, guys? Uh, take care. Yep, Redneck, I'll see you. Dimitri might get off vacation. Uh, he better bring a bear. Wesson, I'll see you. You might find more to talk about next time. Dude, absolutely. We'll talk about your favorites next time. We talked about mine. We'll talk about yours, I promise. 
just remind me when you get in here. Uh, you just got here. Yeah, sorry, bud. Um, you're yeah, not feeling it, and we're over four hours. So come back Wednesday. I'll go for six. I promise you. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Talk to you later.